Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. I humble myself before the Queen Mother. You shall live long. It's <laughs> okay. Aren't you beautiful? <laughs> the beautiful wife I found for my son. I bless the day I set my eyes on you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Feeling shy? A beggy. <laughs> the Queen is here. So, tell her all that you've been telling me. Mother, please don't start. Your Majesty, what would you like to eat? I want to cook for you. No, no, no. Don't bother yourself. I just came to see you one more time and to ask um, when you will be chance to visit the palace. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime, Your Majesty, she will come and see you. Uh. I know she has always wished to see the prince. I trust my daughter. She will come anytime you approve. Mother, please. Your Majesty, what would you like to drink? Oh. What am I even asking? I know what to get for the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Lele. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Beautiful girl. An excellent choice I made for my son. And I know my son will be so happy to behold this beautiful damsel I chose for him. You can say that again. <laughs> Beautiful girl. By the time I finish with you today, you will regret why you did not die when people like you were tired. Look at that! What do you think we're doing? Do you think I'm joking with you? Oh, you are still lying down. Wait for me. So you are still here, Show you to that girl. She needs love. Mama Meka, how many times do you want me to warn you to stay away from what I do in my compact? Do you want me to fall out with you fully before you let to mind your business? Hey, girl, Mama! What? Have you seen what you have cost? Have you seen it? She has no body in this world, but she has God. And that God is never asleep. He is not asleep. When you finish barking like a dog, you just get down from that place you are and enter your house. Asilebakute. You will never mind your business. Behind your man. Running will not save you. Running will not save you. Just come back and catch this crazy and go and sell for me. Go and sell this crazy. If you refuse to sell this crazy, I will make you drink. All of them when you come back. Try me. Useless girl. Evil child. I don't know why this girl will not just die. And let me have some peace in my home. Why will she die? Hey, please. I'm waiting for you. Impressive. Is she from this land? Of course she's from here. Her name is Linda Ohamadike. The daughter of Sir Samuel Ohamadike, the state chairman of the ruling party. The same girl. Yeah, she looks like someone who has seen the better part of life. 
Oh, not only has she seen the better part of life, she's down to earth. Could you believe she offered to cook food for me? Mm. And something tells me that she'll make a wonderful wife to my son. <laughs> wife? Yes. Is this what you've been planning, mother? Is this the reason I've been scrolling through the pictures of a beautiful woman? Why are you frowning? Don't you trust my judgment? Or do you still think that uh, you're too young to have a wife? That is not the point. Then what is the point? Mother. All my life. I have pandered to the demands of you and my father. First, I wanted to study music and you. Ah, oh, there he goes again. Must you always remind me of this? Don't you understand that you are a prince that will one day become king? How can a king become a musician? Who will you be singing for and who they will sing for you? Well, do not cut me from trying to make a point. You and father forced me into studying law. Today, I'm a lawyer, even though I have no need for that knowledge. But as regards whom to make my life partner, I beg you and father to stay out of it. Nabife, wait. Nabife, don't you trust my judgment? Nabife, I am your mother and I want the best for you. Linda Ohamadike is a girl that was trained by her mother. She is a true definition of the word decency. If you make her your wife, that girl will worship you for the rest of her life. I beg you, son, give me this last chance to deliver this God to you. Please. <coughs> this is your own. I didn't come here for color. I came to inquire on something that bothers on my son. Even Jesus Christ said he has not come to abolish the laws, but rather he has come to strengthen them. But no more will talk about you. Most of you are becoming more Christians than the Jews themselves. And get it can go. Christianity is good. Tradition is equally good. And that is why I'm here. Even as a Christian mother, I still respect your office as the chief priest. That's why I always come to consult you on critical matters. Now tell me, is my son going to marry this beautiful damsel I found for him? The process leading to the wife that the prince will marry shall be very complex and complicated. But one thing is very clear. That the prince is going to marry a very beautiful woman. But if you ask me who it's going to be, I will not be able to answer. The process shall be complex and complicated. But he will marry a beautiful girl. That girl must be Linda. Your mother already told me about Linda of Hamadike. And I trust her judgment completely. My queen is a noble woman. The best wife any man could ever think of having. So, do not condemn her choice without seeing her first. See her first. Father, what happens if I get to see her and I do not like her enough as a wife? So long as she's the same one your mother found, I'm sure you're going to like her. Yes, it's your mother we're talking about here. Oh, come on. See the lady first. 
You still haven't answered my questions, Father. Let's assume I get to see this girl. I interact with her and we talked. And I still do not find her worthy enough to spend the rest of my life with. Would you permit me to make my own choice? Hmm. There is a saying in Abadani Kingdom, and it has gained global relevance. That's because it's valid. You don't shave a man in his absence. Do not condemn the girl yet. See her first. Excuse me, sorry. See, I did not mean to get you scared. Just that I want to intimate you on something. I don't want to really, you know, start dancing to the tune of unethical fallacy that I'm a professor. I'm not, because I've not even been given the certificate. But everybody in this land, and even beyond, knows Jerry the J. They know that I know women more than they know themselves. That is why when I was coming, I visualized you from there. And I noticed that something is wrong with you. I said to myself, Jay, you don't just go. That you need to come and know what is wrong with this girl. Now I'm here. Tell me, what is troubling you? Because I have solution to everything. What is the problem? Come on, you are even crying. Hello? Jerry! Huh? What's happened? I don't know. I saw her die in your arms. Die? What did you do to her? I did not do anything to her. I was just trying to toast this girl. The girl just fell in my arms. My dear, I won't blame you if you don't know Prince Nabufi. You know he's not loud and proud like most people in his position. You sound like you know him very well. Of course I do. You know, after he graduated from the law school and was called to bar, his father contracted my mother as the event planner to set up a state of the art graduation party in the palace for him. So money was made available to my mother and everything was really on a high speed. Um, inviting all the who is who in the <laughs> land. <laughs> but guess what, my dear? One morning he drove to our office and um, asked my mother to put everything to a stop. Why? The same thing I told you. You know, he's really humble, decent, kind, nice, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Seriously, he doesn't want any party. Wait, so what happened to the money? The king paid your madam. Mm. As for that one, he asked my madam to keep that. That it is our luck. And guess what, my dear? She gave me 50,000 euro out of the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, honestly, if Prince Nabufi is the man you're finally going to get married to, you should really count yourself very lucky because he is simply the best. Mm. Mm -hmm. With what you're saying, I'm liking him already. <laughs> You never liked him? Mm, not really. I was skeptical about going to see him like my mother suggested. Mm -hmm. I believe he should be the one to come see me. Okay. Mm. But hearing you talk, <laughs> I will go and see him. <laughs> I know, it's even written all over you. Now you're falling in love with you. <laughs> Don't forget that, my dear. You're lucky, Jerry. Okay. Thank you. Go to the dressing room. Upstairs. 
still, must you always be a fool? Eh? Must you always be the person that will land yourself in trouble? You can't even control this your stupid mouth. Common self-control, simple self-control, you don't have. If, if, if this girl dies now, if she dies, what will I do? Which means I'll go to jail. Hey! And that stupid, that stupid boy I met just, just told me that I must have done something to that girl to, to, to have made her to, to have failed her. What kind of rubbish is that? Eh? Let me tell you, is it not police that, that will judge if somebody is guilty or not? That stupid boy. She's fine. She's okay. She's fine. She's fine? Yes, yes, she's fine. Hey! Thank God. Auntie. Hey, sorry. Auntie, you mean she's not dead? No, no, she's not. She's good. Hey! Thank God. Hey, Jesus. Um, see, Auntie, please. Since she's fine, yeah, she's okay. I'll just go and mind my own business. From today, I will learn how to control this my stupid mouth. Because this my stupid man nearly landed me to trouble now. So please, just... Give me my ID card. Let me go. Please. Your ID card? Yes. You sound as if you don't know this girl. I've not met this girl in my life. Oh. I don't know her. You see, I have this talent there. If I see a pretty girl, once I approach her and talk to her, she'll just fall. Even as you are now, there's a one who talk to you now, you fall for me. So I, I saw this girl. She was just there. She was looking dejected. I said to myself, Jerry, this is an opportunity. Oh. For you to go and uh, uh, try your luck. So I decided to, to try my luck as Jerry. Do you know I was talking to this girl? This girl just fainted. For no reason, she just fainted. So since she's fine, thank God, I've learned my lessons today. You see, as from today, I'll learn how to mind my own business. So that is why I say, give me my ID card. Let me go on time before I see the girl that will. That will put me in trouble. Though. Just give me the ID card, please. You just saved someone from starving to death. I think you should be happy. Ah, Auntie. Yes. I don't understand. Though. What do you mean I saved somebody from starving to death? I don't understand. Hunger was her problem. She wasn't sick. Ha! Ah. She fainted practically because there was nothing in her system. I doubt if she has eaten in days. We just gave her food and she's good to go. I don't understand you. Why must that pretty girl starve herself to death? Your Majesty, do you know the problem I have with you? Is that you leave everything to chance. How do you mean? The young man made a strong case for himself. And I believe we should allow him to make his own decisions. Your Majesty. Linda Hamadike is the very woman I want our son to marry. And you know that he'll be made king after you. And whoever he chooses becomes the women leader of this land. And how do you know the said Linda Hamadike will make a good women leader of Abadana? What do you I say? I plead with you, my queen. Please, give this young man some space. Your Majesty. Why do you sound like this? Please don't allow our son to hear this, else we begin to look down on Linda. When will she come? I wanted her to come tomorrow. But on the second thought, I asked our son to go and see her. And you think he will agree to visit the same woman he already is not seen as wife to be? Your Majesty, this is why I want you to come in as his father and king, make him marry this woman. Our son will be very happy. Please, it's your majesty. They said you fainted because there was practically nothing in your small intestine. I still can't understand that. Were you fasting or what? Are you Jehovah Witness? No, no sir, I am not a Jehovah Witness. What she said is what it was. I was so hungry to the point that I couldn't stand on my feet. But they gave me something to eat and now I am good to go. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's okay. Don't, 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 don't mention. You see, in my church, I belong to a group called St. Vicente Paul. That is what we do. We help people so that grace will be abundant to us. Okay. My name is uh, Jerry DJ, Jerry Moka. 
from our top of this our Abadan. May I have the honor of knowing things about you? Well, my name is Obioma. Okay. I am also from Abadani. That's good. Yes. Sir, thank you for taking me to a place that they gave me food to eat. Right now, I really have to go. You see, your bio data is not complete. Yeah, you just told me you are Obioma. You didn't tell me your son name. You didn't tell me your village. I need to know everything about you. I need to see you again. Please, sir. I don't want it to seem as if I am being rude to a man that has been good to me. Oh. But the truth of the matter is, I will not want you to find me again. Because if you ever find me again, I will be in serious trouble. Oh. So please, like I said, thank you very much. God bless and reward you for, for today and for the food. Everything. I have to be on my way. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. I know you are troubled. But you know Jerry DJ now. You know me. When you know me, you don't have any trouble. Again, see, in my father's house, I stay in a very big flat. Alone, only me. I don't stay with anybody. I have food. If hunger is your problem, once you come, I give you food. Any type of food, local, international. You eat. And I have rooms there. If you don't have a place to lay your head, if you come, I give you a room. You stay comfortably. Nobody will disturb you. We we'll take conditioner. Have a conditioner. I remember that. Thank yeah. you. Hi. This pretty girl I just met, that God just gave me on a platter of gold. Why is she hiding her identity? Do you know the beauty of this girl that can make one his own, his own father? Or you see this girl? I will chop up. I will chop up. I will chop up. Linda Homadike, how are you? The almighty Linda. I know my mother gave you my number. Thank you for calling. You're welcome, my prince. I asked what my prince was doing. Well, nothing much. I'm just sitting in the middle living room and waiting to be served my food salad. That's what I want to take for tonight. <laughs> how I wish I was there to prepare the food salad for you. I must say your voice sounds romantic tonight. Really? I'm thrilled. Anyway, I'll save your number and we'll get to talk from time to time. That would be nice, my friends. When are you going to come visit? Uh, permit me to give you an answer to that question tomorrow. Um. Sorry, my salad is here. Can you allow me to call it a day? Can I say good night? Don't uh, know, my friends. <sighs> the fruit salad, my friends. Thank you, Emma. You're welcome. I'm sorry, I'm okay. Please come back. Yes, my friends. There is something going on around here and I don't like it. Something going on where? Thanks for the salad. Don't bother about the plate, I'll handle it. Good night. Good... Good night, my prince. Good night.
voice is so cute. And he complimented mine too. God help me, I'm falling for this guy. What do they have that I don't have? Why should I be in this palace and they are looking for another maiden that the prince shall marry? Uh, <clears throat> good evening, Your Majesty. What are you doing here? Um, nothing, Your Majesty. I was just carried away by my personal thought. Come back here. Uh, what do you mean by carried away by your personal thoughts? What are those thoughts? Um, just the same thoughts that will engage the mind of any young girl my age. Nothing to bother the queen. <laughs> it's okay. You can go. Thank you, Your Majesty. She threw away the crazy I asked her to sell and ran away. Look at the time she's coming back. Eh? She said something about being admitted in the hospital. What is the meaning of that? Did it just happen? Do you actually want her to say something? What is she going to say? Eh? America, what are you doing here? No, 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 no. Who invited you to my compound? Eh? So you will not allow me a moment to rest in my house. What is it? Now, if you know what is good for you, leave this compound. I actually came here to see you. And it will be appreciated if you will handle your wife like the man. What did you say? What did I hear you say? That my husband should handle me like a man? Eh? Who are you? Where do you want to go inside? No, 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 Obiama. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> it is because of her that I am here. And I want her to stand here as I address the issue. Yeah. You left your house this <laughs> night to my own house. To address the issue of Obioma. Give mm. Obioma Obi. What is it? She fainted today and was rushed to the hospital by a good Samaritan. Mm. They are at the hospital. The doctors and nurses found out that she was not sick. Rather, she was at the verge of starving to death. I met her on my way back home and she told me all this herself. That's what you are. You can never stay in your house. No, you have overstayed your welcome. Leave my house. Get away from my house now. Let me rest for you. What is it? Exactly eh? what I will do. But after saying this last one. Oh, okay. If this orphan child of your brother that is under your custody. I will personally take it up with the mother of our dad. As one year said, I'm going to it. Can't you fall? Leave my house, at least for once now. I can't even talk in my house. Eh? What have I done to her? If I call, this woman will climb the fence and start calling my name. If I laugh, she will come into the gate. What is it? Eh? Money are you want to What are you sitting there? Come on, get inside, you stupid. Get inside before you come up here, you see. Amaka is a very good maiden that has served in this palace as a chief domestic worker ever since she left the university. Mother, I know who Amaka is. What I don't understand is why you're educating me about her and how long she no, has stayed. No, I'm not educating you. I I'm just curious. See, in this era where graduates are everywhere looking for jobs, you're asking me to tell Amaka to leave the palace. Why? <sighs> you 
Maybe I have a reactor, mother. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Oh, come on, son. Why are you shutting this in a hurry? I, I know you very well. What did she do that prompted you requesting that we ask her to leave the palace? She did not do anything. I just said maybe I overreacted. I'll handle it. Trust me. Good night. Good night. Carried away by my personal thought. Does it have any connection with this? He introduced himself as Jerry. I believe he was God sent. Because if he had not... If he had not showed up at the time he did, I probably would be a dead person by now. What happened when you came out from the hospital? Like, did he ask you out? Like, getting to know you and all that. Of course he did. But I beg, stop. Pretend that like you. I know exactly what happened to you. How he must have taken you to any of those low-class, short-term hotels and got the best from you. Let me tell you the truth. You are nothing but a classless girl. You don't have a class at all. result was excellent and what happened in your case you failed and yet your father was able to get you an admission into the university what stupid explanation are you giving what has that got to do with the issue under discussion everything it has everything to do with it you said it yourself that Obioma has no class and I agree is it not you who is in the, in the university building your class with your poor O-level result? And I that, that have the excellent result is out all over the streets of Abadani, hawking kerosene. And on a day that I do not hawk kerosene, I hope you will not eat. Standing here, listening, listening to, to your baseless tales. Eh? Ewu Obioma, sit down here and continue fooling yourself. I am not fooling myself and you know that. Instead, what I have chosen to do is resign myself to fate. <laughs> so remain in your university. Stay there and build your class with your poor results. While I wait and pray on oh my God to remember me. <laughs> I know he will remember me. Uh, he will indeed remember you. <laughs> In my own house because she lives here. Eh? Your problem should not be my America. No, it should not be your concern. Your major concern is this useless girl we have in this house that she called and she answered. Mm. Eh? What kind of a thing is that? Hey! Ma? Where are you going? Where are you going this very night with this girl? I'm going to fetch water before they finally close their gates. Yes, you what I try to show, to continue giving the people the impression that you work so hard in this house. Hell! Tony! What do you do? What is it that you do? Can you feel my local? say, what do you do? Uh, Ma, I'm not, I'm not trying to give any impression to anybody. It's just that almost everybody in this compound uses two buckets of water to, to have their baths. Each of my times uses three buckets. 
and I am the only one that fetches the water. So <laughs> I, I, I thought maybe I can, I can fetch some quantity tonight and, and, and reduce my workload tomorrow. Yeah. yeah it's boom mado. It's boom mado. Clap for yourself. Get, get out. Get out. Come, come back here. Get out here. Come back here. Put yourself near. Stay away from Mama Meka. I don't ever want to see you near Mama Meka again. Yes, yes. The next time I find out that you had a discussion with Mama Meka, that will be the day I will kill you. Yes, 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 I wish someday somebody would just come here and indicate interest of making her his wife. I am not going to conduct any background check on the individual. I will just quietly hand her over to the person, marry, just take her out of this of this, this, this house. Eh? <laughs> Unfortunately, that evil girl, yeah. nobody is going to come for her. I understand that we hate her because of what her father did to us. But don't forget, she's a good looking lady. Men one day will come here to indicate interest. You talk as if you don't know men. They all visit soothsayers before they settle for any woman. They will see with their eyes the level of the witchcraft they posted in her. So no one is going to call for her. But I will assure you. I am not only the cat, but That thing you said about being carried away by your personal thought, does that have anything to do with my son? No, Your Majesty. My personal thoughts are personal to me. Mm. It has nothing to do with the prince. Then what did you say to my son? Nothing. I simply served him the fruit salad he requested. And what did he say to you? He... What are you still doing here? You may leave. Honestly, a lot is happening in this palace that I need to get to the root of. How do you mean? I went to our son to discuss about Linda and to give him more reason why he must marry this girl. Could you believe that he abandoned the topic and went straight to another one asking me to ask Amaka to leave the palace without even explaining why? <laughs> why? I have been asking myself why are you still left with that strange woman here in this palace? Strange woman? Your Majesty, are you referring to Amaka as... My dear Queen, if you want her son to marry this lovely woman you found for him, then remove all stumbling blocks in his way. In his wisdom, he has just revealed a major stumbling block to you. What that tells me is that he is interested in the one you have found for him. Do as he advised and make things easy for my son. Uh, no. Ah, 
Wow. <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Mother, mm. I took a selfie and I sent it to the Queen Mother. She said I look stunningly, ravishingly. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I agree with her completely. <laughs> you are ready to go. Yes. You know, what is making me like him the more is the information that he is so humble. <sighs> he is. That's exactly the kind of man I want for a husband. <laughs> and that is exactly what I have found for you. <laughs> You should trust your mother when it comes to things like this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. One more thing. Your father is not aware mm -hmm. that he is going to be in love to the king. Wow. <laughs> it is my surprise birthday gift to him. Oh, mother. <laughs> and we are going to keep it secret until we are through with it. <laughs> Alright. Yes, my God. <laughs> Beautiful daughter. <laughs> wow. I trust you absolutely. And that is why I invited you out early. I wanted to leave my wife to handle this matter alone. But on second thought, I felt this is the same woman that will ultimately be in leadership position of the women in Abadani Kingdom. And you decided to step into it, Your Highness. Well, there is no reason for that. For the gods have not spoken to me on that topic. Mm. Oh, well, let me speak with my king, as a wealthy to the neighbor. Allow your son to choose a wife for himself. Well, that's absolutely what I want to do. I am not going to impose any woman on him. All I want you to do for me is tell me, the one that my wife has found for him, will she make a good wife? So I can know how to handle her. One thing I see very clearly is that the prince is going to marry a very beautiful wife. But if you ask me who she is, I will not be able to answer. Amaka, I have only two men in my life, my husband and my son. And you know them very well because you've lived in this house for three years now. Tell me, is that something that you are doing that they are not comfortable with? Is, is there a problem, Your Majesty? Let us not drag this issue. You have to leave the palace. Please. Have I done anything wrong? I have seen money and other valuable things in this palace. I have never stolen anything, Your Majesty. I didn't say that you're a thief. Something came up in the palace. And what I am doing now is the only option I have. I will call you, but for now you have to leave, okay? You have to go. You have to leave the palace now. I will call you, okay? Good evening. The son. Where are you going to? Um, the South African miners are having issues with the town union executive. So the secretary invited me in my capacity as a lawyer to be part of the meeting. That's where I'm headed. Amaka, what's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Son, let's not um... I hope you haven't told her I asked her to leave. Mother, you're not saying anything. I hope you have not told her that. So let's not talk about Amaka now. Okay, you, you have to cancel the meeting you have with the miners and the union for now. Why would I do a thing like that? We're talking about a crisis that could escalate.
little breach of peace in this community. We're talking about something that could stall revenue inflow. Mother, you wouldn't ask me to, to cancel the meeting. Well, that meeting can go on without you. Just tell them that you will be coming. Why? Uh, Mother, talk to me. Why would you want me to call them and tell them I won't be attending the meeting? Son, Linda or Hamadika will be coming here to visit you. And it, it should be so unfair for her to get here and you're not in the house. Can't you see? Just where are you going? This girl doesn't really mean anything to this boy. I want to drive. Yeah. Okay. And you're not going with me. I have another assignment for you. What assignment do you have for me? My mother invited someone for me, and I learned she's on her way to this palace, as to speak. I want you to handle that business. Keep her company till I'm back. Okay. No problem. All right. Tell me to do that. Am I a monk? <sighs> Linda, I am not happy the way you're throwing yourself at this guy. How do you mean? Okay, fine. His mother woke you up in the middle of the night with a call. Fix the meeting between you and her son. And this very early morning, you're already dressed up. And what is wrong with that? Please, I'm not used to what you girls call African time. Ah. For real? Mm. Good morning, Your Majesty. How are you, dear? I'm fine. Where are you? I'm at home with my friend, Joanne. That you saw her picture. I'm about leaving. Uh, I I called to let you know that the prince just left the palace. What happened? He's not there. Uh, he was called for a brief meeting in the town hall. It has, it's something that has to do with um, the kingdom revenue. But he said he'll be there briefly. So you don't want me to come again? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I just called to keep you posted. Start coming immediately. Okay, Your Majesty, I'm on my way. I'll be waiting. Don't go to fish again. Hmm? Your food is at the backyard. Eat and get ready to go and sell my cuisine. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Useless kid. She would like to make people believe she's working so hard. Thank you. 
I don't want to talk about the pretender. It's your food. My dear. Into the dog's plate because I don't want this useless girl to eat this food. I don't want to talk to it at all. Put it together. She go here. Man. Ma? Is, is, is this the breakfast? No! My breast milk is the breakfast. Come and sit down here and suck my breast. Come and suck my breast. And you could bore you. So this one is not enough for you. This breakfast is not enough for you. Eh? Get out of my sight. Get out. Unuri. Look at her. She be a useless girl. Oh, I'm sick. What do you imagine? She will has the call to ask me if that was her breakfast. <laughs> Hey, Monsieur! Put the foot on the dogs. Are you dumb or something? What's that supposed to mean? Is that an insult or what? She was the one who is being insulted. You don't even get it. Okay, a man who wants to marry you does not visit you. He's not making any effort to woo you properly as a woman. And finally, his mother fixed the meeting between the both of you. He could not even as little as wait for you. Gosh. Did you just hear what I said? What did you say? He went to the town hall because something came up. Something that has to do with kingdom revenue. And whatever you call kingdom revenue cannot be delegated to someone else. You know what, Linda? I am not ever going to talk to you about this again. Just do whatever makes you happy. What has come over you? Are you jealous of me or what? Jealous? <laughs> oh, please, come off it. You know what, Linda? I am only concerned. I don't want this guy to take advantage of you. Don't bother about me. I am living as in right now. Don't waste the food. I, I want to eat it. And who told you I'm wasting it? I'm taking it to the dog. Or do you want me to starve the poor dog? Ichoma, please. I will take this one to the dog. But let me have this one, please. I'm very hungry. I see we are more important than the dog. <laughs> Don't forget to dry the plates after the shingle. Hehehehe <laughs> 
I've sent her out of the palace as you requested. But as your wife, I request to know why you refer to her as a stumbling block. Hmm. It is good. You have done well to have sent her away from the palace. I spoke with Obwefu uh, Dedebona this morning, and I know what he said to me. I do not want to speak any further about your maid. I bow in greeting to my king and queen. A beautiful maiden by the name Linda Ohamadike is here in the palace to see the prince. I asked her to wait in the palace waiting room too. Oh, oh, oh. go and send her in. Uh, we've been waiting for her. Okay. Send her in. Go, go, go. Bring her in. Thank you, Majesty. and visit. Put me to say one more time that you are astonished. Oh, not again. You make me shy with your endless flattery. No, I'm not flattering you. Look at you. You're beautiful. You know, when the prince was leaving, he told me that a maiden was coming to the palace to see him. I was surprised because no maiden has ever come to the palace to look for the prince. And then in anticipation, I waited to know what this lady would look like. But I've seen you, I'm not disappointed at all. You're beautiful. You're a sensation. Thank you. Can you please take me to the queen now? Oh, yes, yes, of course. This way. Come along. What kind of useless information are you giving to this girl? Eh? That I'm not qualified to be greeted with, sir. No, 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 no. Hey, you qualify to be greeted with, sir. Eh? Hey, Doze, let me even ask you. Do you have any stove? Tell me, what are you doing with Cuisine? I hope you're not planning to sleep with this Cuisine hawker. You idiot! Because that's the only thing you do with them. You are an idiot! Who? Eh? What kind of rubbish are you telling this girl? Eh? You are mad. Were you not the one who started the rubbish? No, 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 no. An innocent girl greeted me. And you're here telling her that I'm not qualified to be greeted with sir. In another one. Eh? See, see, see. Next time you try this nonsense, eh? Next time you try this well, nonsense. Shut, 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 shut up. Next time. I first of all told you to. Why don't you go? I told you to respect yourself. Idiot. Next time you don't try this nonsense. You cannot do anything. Shut up. 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 Shut inside my mouth. No, no, no. She just went in to prepare for you to swim. Hey. Come on, come back here, idiot. Come back here. It doesn't say, let me warn you. Eh? You see this nonsense that just happened now. If you, if you repeat it again, eh? I will kill you. You will kill me. You will kill me because of nonsense. I will kill you. Don't try me. Oh. You idiot. Huh? You idiot. Eh? Look at you have made me to lose this girl now. Oh, it doesn't say me, idiot. You have just made me to lose this girl now. Me, you idiot. Oh. No problem. Thank you. Go 
Come, let me ask you. Does it mean you don't go to school? Um, I am done with my secondary education. There is no money to further. Is it not better to find out what I'm doing? Like becoming a sister to somebody. I mean, something that could help you go back to school. I have thought about that. Mm -hmm. But I know they will not allow me. And I can't disobey them. What are you talking about? Who are the people? I don't want to bother you with my stories. Thank you. Thank you for buying my kerosene. Thank you. Who are these people disturbing this game? You know, my mother has told me a lot of wonderful things about you. And believe me, I am not disappointed. You are just as ravishing as she described. The show will start from where Colin stopped. That guy is simply a clown. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, thank you for your compliment. You're welcome. Can we just um, take a walk around the palace? I'm here for you, my friends. <sighs> if he likes her, I don't have any problem with that. He's the one getting married, not me. My king, I know that he's the one getting married. But as a man sitting in a position of authority, what is your impression about that girl? <laughs> well, um, I think she's good looking, beautiful. And from my brief encounter with her, also, she's smart, intelligent, mm. and well nurtured. But then again, now we face the one getting married, not me. Mm. He's the one that will decide what he wants. Mm. She's smart, intelligent, well nurtured. Our son will be so happy to hear what you've said about his wife to be. I'll tell him about mm -mm. it. Don't tell him anything. I'll tell him myself. You have made an excellent choice for our son. Thank you, my king. You've made my day with these words. Thank you. <laughs> I have a friend that works in the firm that your father hired to plan your aborted graduation party. Really? Yeah. She told me how you aborted the whole plan and asked them to keep the money. I don't want to talk about it. You just, you just told me you don't like noise and that's why I remembered it. Do you like noise? Mm, not really. Just that I'm an extrovert. And I associate myself with people that can add positive vibes to my life. Huh? Before I am your mother, and I want the best for you. Linda Ohamadike is a girl that was trained by her mother. She is a true definition of the word decency. If you make her your wife, that girl will worship you for the rest of her life. I beg you, son, give me this last chance to deliver this God to you. You're not saying anything. You don't like noise, or you don't like extroverts. My mother told me a lot of things about you. <laughs> and I make bold to say you are a nice person. Your mother proposed to me. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? <laughs> I told her you should be the one proposing. You see, there are lots of things we need to talk about. Let's leave my mother for now. Okay. So. Oh. 
Obiama. What is the problem? Stay away from Mameka. I don't ever want to see you near Mameka again. Yes, yes. The next time I find out that you had a discussion with Mameka, that will be the day I will kill you. Yes, 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 Hey, like one no more. This woman is bent on destroying this innocent child. Oh. You know, mother, first impression they say is very important. I've interacted with her and I must tell you, you found an amazing woman. That is why I found her for you. Because I knew that my son would never disappoint this family. Thank you for that confirmation. Just like your father, <laughs> you've also made my day. Trust me. <laughs> but mom, don't you think you're moving too fast? Too fast? How? Linda Ohamadike is a very beautiful woman. I mean, even her enemies are helpless because they know she's a woman who has the courage to go all out. I mean, she's unstoppable. <laughs> because she was made in the caliber of queens. Something tells me that she will be the perfect leader of women after me. You know, mother, I said everything I said to prove to you that I hold. Absolutely nothing against her. That's it. <laughs> However, she's not my wife. Did you just say that? I will find my wife. And when I do, I'll bring her to you. Thanks for all the effort you have made. I appreciate it. Mama Casillo, get out of my house! I know why she saw me and refused to speak to me. You have issued your useless threats on the innocent child. My house. Listen to me, Ngole. The spirit of the just will not allow you to destroy this innocent child. Thank God you are here. Listen to me, Obiaba. This woman here is not your God. You refuse to speak to or even greet me because she asks you not to. Hey. This woman is destroying you. Hey, hey, hey. Why are you looking for trouble? I thought my mother told you to, to leave our house. Leave! No, she's still here. Eh? You are still here. Useless daughter of the universe. Hey. This is some. The first time I met your father, I never liked him. I married him because he had the basic qualities I needed in a man. But as days turned to weeks, weeks to months, I began to love him. Son, love is a process. 
If Linda Mamadike has the basic qualities you need in a woman, why not allow her into your life? And in due time, you see the virtues in this girl. Mother, you talk as though you have forgotten I'm a grown man. Allow me to find the woman I need as a wife and bring her to you. Linda is not my wife. What I need in a woman is not complex and complicated. The process leading to the wife that the prince will marry shall be very complex and complicated. But one thing is very clear. That the prince is going to marry a very beautiful woman. But if you ask me who it's going to be, I will not be able to answer. Complex and complicated. Why use such expression? I mean, that's the expression that came to my mind. Linda as a woman is a good person. But she's not my wife. Allow me find my wife. Do me a favor, son. What favor? Go and visit Linda tomorrow. <sighs> I don't want you to miss this girl. Please, son. Noted, mother. Thank you. I told you not to discuss me with anybody. And you went back to the same mommy maker I warned you against. Yeah? Oh, oh no, I swear. Mother, I swear. I swear with my life I did not tell her anything. I was I was surprised that she came here. Ah! What stupid like you have to swear with? What stupid like you have to tell me you swear with? <laughs> Where is this girl? Why would this girl just come back with people and set her on air? Come on, she's going to be. She's going to be. I'm just, just kill you with my head. Useless girl. Come in, Maggie. Come on, get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, do you rake out your cow, cow or cattle? On our water. Who ever that will be flown in this kind of game? Hey! That person must have committed a very big abomination. Actually, I did not even see it very well because you were in a hurry. See, you are a true definition of beauty. Do you know your beauty can make one forget he has not taken breakfast? I'm serious. Look at the sun rising in your eyes. See, I bless this day I'm meeting you for the first time. I bless it. I'm a lucky man. Keynes. What are you doing with Keynes? I am sorry. I'm sorry. It's so important. <laughs> I like this girl. I like you. Where have you been living? How come I never met this amazing girl all my life? How come? I've been in this village for a long time. How come I've never seen you? My name is Jerry. You can call me Jay. What is your name? I'm you, Ma. Wow. Beautiful name. Pretty name. 
You deserve the name. Thank you. Yeah, you see, eh? The type of beauty you have is enough to make one cancel any appointment just because of the type of class you command. In fact, I'm actually going to see a senator. He said he's going to open up a borehole here. I have an important appointment with him, but because of you, I'm going to cancel everything because I want to know you more. I want to know everything about you, your name, where you stay. I just want to know everything. Really? Really? Yes. What sort of nonsense is this? Welcome now, you know. What has she committed this time around? This useless girl is not even the problem. This German that I sent to buy me cake since 4 p.m., 4 o'clock, has not returned with the cake. Oh my God. No, 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 no. You don't need to waste your money to buy cake because of this one. All you need is just to use. Papa, do not tell Today they were meeting for the very first time. That is how much you've kissed me. I'm serious. You are a mature girl. girl. <laughs> and that is one thing I like about you. Other useless girls, when you meet them, they will just tell you, ah, ah you just met, that we should take it step by step and all those poor crap. But me and you, we have chemistry. You know what? You did chemistry, right? Yeah. You know how hydrochloric acid is mixed with SO4 to give you hydrogen tetra sex. <laughs> that is how you are. I just met you. You gave yourself to me because you believe I'm a big boy in this Abadane. That is what you believe. And this is what I will not forget in a hurry. I promise you. You sure have a way with words. I, I don't know if I can ever say it to the things you require. Useless daughter of a useless woman. Oh, Chaka Omaka. Take a look at yourself. No, 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 no. Mama, I don't like this. Oh. I, no, I don't like it. I always get a mess one. You don't just come from anywhere. You'll be insulting me and my babe now. I don't like it. No, See, no, respect no, is reciprocal. No, 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 it's you see this woman here? She's a troublemaker, full of evil. I've seen it already. Your evil will surely find yeah, you. Yeah, you are a sadist. <laughs> baby, come here. Hmm? Yeah. The, no. the girl that needs to be punished. Like the pendulum of a clock. Huh? The one that needs parts on the back is being punished on daily basis. What kind of nonsense is this? Wow. You mean he was excited? Juan, you won't believe what happened to me today in the palace. Mm -hmm. He took me for a walk and there is nothing he didn't tell me. Okay, so why didn't he propose to you? I guess he's still trying to figure it out. Okay. But I saw lost in his eyes. He practically stripped me naked with his eyes. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Love is so strong. He's the one calling. <laughs> to the palace tomorrow. No, not really. I want to come to your place myself. 
Wow, that's the best thing I've heard in my life. Oh, come off it, Linda. Why would you say it's the best thing you've heard all your life? The love of my life. <laughs> Prince in a brief of Agbadani is coming to see me in my place. I shall be waiting the whole of tomorrow. No, no, you don't have to wait the whole tomorrow for me. I'll be coming to your place from 4 p.m. And I shall be waiting. All right. Thank you. See you. Oh my God. He's coming. Yes, I see you. <laughs> That's a good news, seriously. You know, I'm doing this because of my mother. On the contrary, you're doing this because of yourself. I've seen beautiful maidens before, but that Linda, huh, she's something else. She's a sensation. I thank God I told her that. What? You told her what? But she's a sensation. By all standards, she's the most beautiful woman in Agbadani. And we should be thankful to your mother for making the perfect choice for you. Huh? You must marry her. I will do everything within my powers to make sure you marry that maiden. You must. Because she will add more years to your life. Uh, um, um, Collins, can you do me a favor? Yes, my friends. Shut up. Okay. You know, the mere fact that he picked his phone to call you shows that you're better than me when it comes to following me. You practically ignored all my warnings and gave him a chance to prove himself. I'm sure you're good. Hmm. I guess he's coming tomorrow to propose to me. Hmm. I'm going to say yes before he finish proposing. <laughs> I love him so much. Okay, so tell me, what are you going to prepare for him? Something special. Okay. Maybe our local salad. You know, something has to do with our traditional Agbadani touches. <laughs> you! Local salad with traditional touches. Can you go through that stress? Yes. That's nothing for the one you love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In fact, that is what I'm going to prepare for him. Okay. He knows the whole stress that goes with the preparation. Mm. So he's going to appreciate me more and love me more. Oh, <laughs> Linda yeah. Omadike is going to be royalty by marriage. And you are going to be part of the people directly sharing from the kingdom's revenue. Honestly, I am happy for you. Thank you. I'm not happy anymore. That's the job. This one, your face is like this. Oh, don't try to make me smile because I am very angry with you. Where are you coming from? Ebekis. Mumsi, don't you trust me again? Popsi, are you also angry with me? Your mother told me that she sent you to go and buy ordinary game. She was to use to flog the hair out of that useless daughter of my brother. But you disappeared. Where did you go to? Imagine the time you are coming back. Eh? Oh, okay. I, I should because of useless Obioma missed the opportunity of changing my course from single honors to a professional course. My parents should, should not just jump into conclusions without without listening to their daughter. This is not fair. It's your mom. It has not got into that now. Eh? What happened? Mom, see. As soon as I left, I got a call that the dean of our faculty wanted to see me. You? The person said that he was actually waiting for me on his desk. Hey. So I... See, this is why I hate this country. They always put people in tight corners. Yes. What is not tight corner now? This was actually the very first time in my life I bought Okada along the expressway. Eh? Finally, I got to school and the man was not on his desk. Hey, Wam. So you took all that risk and still didn't meet the man? How? You can see your frustration. You see it? Eh? Can you imagine? 
to the new room. Imagine for the Nokala on the expressway. Can you imagine? Uh, my beautiful daughter. Biko, just go inside and take your shower. You see the fringe benefit you, you get when you have somebody like Jim as a friend. When was the last time you tested this no, 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 no. Where are you going? Yeah. Where are you going? You to me that you came back with the babe and, and you actually ate the babe. What type of rubbish is that? It does it. What type of rubbish is this now? You are insulting me now. Huh? What rubbish is that? What is your business if I if I bring any girl here or if I chop any girl here? You see my problem with you village boys. I was just on my own, no? You and that your stupid friend. You came, you said you want to be my friend. I said fine, let me just help you people. Now you are you are insulting me. Who they see what to talk about? Ah, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I don't like this type of problem. Jerry, see, see, my problem with you is that you get angry. You get angry. Why would I get angry? Why would a man that has the, 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 the sixth leg come here and be telling me that he wants to go and sleep with my girl? What sort of rubbish is that? No, I don't like. Don't tell me that kind of rubbish. Sorry, and you even had the gods going in there. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm in a very good mood. Don't get me out. Otherwise, no, no, no. I'll chase you out. No, 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 no. What, is, what is wrong if you allow me to go in and eat that baby? Eh? Have you not been eating girls to, together? Have you not been eating babies together? Eh? <coughs> um, Edozi, I have clearly understood your mission mm. this night. Yeah. You just came here to make me angry. How? But I refuse to be gotten angry. Huh? I can see I'm in a very good mood. The truth is that this girl you are talking about, she has come and gone. She came, she gave me the only thing I needed. That was the ubo. So I've eaten the ubo. And <laughs> discharged her. So there is no need of eating her. Hey, oh, oh. Hey! You're my main man. <laughs> see, 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 see. Those are the kind of babes I like. <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> see what you do for me, eh? Just give me the particulars of those girls that doesn't test stories. <laughs> I want to go and equally try my luck. In my Diego. You see, Eduzi, eh? you have succeeded in proving to me that you are as foolish as Oki of Irore village. Eh? Yes! You are foolish. You are stupid. Oh, no, no. Are you not a useless carpenter? How? You are a useless carpenter. So as a useless carpenter, if you want to try your luck, you try your luck on those mahogany trees you use in doing your carpentry work. Uh, I'm not my you lead. Say, uh, don't, 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 don't just insult me. Oh, you see that is insulting me. What point of correction? How can you come here and be telling me you want to try your luck on my, uh, on my girl? Jerry, it's okay. Stupid carpenter it's like okay. you. Don't, don't, don't just call me carpenter again. You are a carpenter. I am not a carpenter. Uh, what, what, what's the problem? I am not a carpenter. I am a furniture maker. You see how stupid that is. What is the difference between a carpenter and a furniture maker? Okay, fine. If you say you are a furniture maker, mm -hmm. no problem. As a furniture maker, eh, go and try your luck with wood. You use wood now to work. If you go back to your working place, you try your luck with wood or mahogany tree. I hope you kill us. Jerry, Jerry, stop saying this now. I, eh? See, eh? I'm just, I'm I'm just about... realizing you people are too I am talking about babe. You are talking you know about what? Go back to your house. Bye bye. Good night. Jerry! 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 Come on. Jerry! Jerry! I, 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 
I am talking to you and you are walking away. To walk out of me. Yeah? In Apuala. Yeah. Oh, Gini. Why did you... What is it? Why are you blocking my path? Do I have any business with you? You cannot tell me that you still see me before. My name is Yedusia. I am a confirmed troublemaker. See, the highest you can do is uh, to go, 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 go and call police. And they will come and arrest me. Put me in the cell. And I will come out again. If I come out, trouble continues. Hey! Oh, oh, you okay, What do you want? Yeah. Eh, 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 Just quietly, no. Follow me to that bush, that farm. At the back of that farm there. I've already arranged where it will happen. Follow me quietly and give it to me. You know what I mean? Oh, I will, I will drag by force. Drag you forcefully and take it by force. Prince of the land. I will take you to the hospital and take care of the bills. You don't need to cry. I am, I am okay, sir. I didn't injure myself. And even if I did, it's not your fault. It's my fault. Then why are you crying? I hate to see a maiden cry. I left my house with 3,000 naira worth of currency. I have only sold 600 naira worth. Only for me to waste the remaining currency on a rapist. She's going to give me to zero. She will give me to zero. She will give me. Oh. Your mother? My, my auntie, the, the woman I live with, my mother is dead. It's okay. Please do me a favor. Don't cry, okay? I'll take care of it. I'll take care of everything. Everything is set. I can't wait for him to slip the ring into my finger. <laughs> Linda, you know what? I want you to comport yourself, okay? I don't want this guy to know that you're desperate. <sighs> but that's the word. Have you ever been married to a prince before? I understand. Yes, I do. Linda, Linda, please. Comport yourself. Because I don't want this guy to take advantage of you if he finds out that you're desperate. Thank you for your advice, Jiran. But sincerely, I don't need it. Please. My O-level result was the best. You can even ask my school principal at the Community Girls Secondary School. She will attest to the fact that 
My result was good. I got a 290 score in jump. But my uncle, who is now my father, refused that I would go to school. Instead, I hawk. I sell kerosene on the street for my auntie, who is his wife. It's okay, Bruno. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, take her. This will be enough for you to protect yourself from them and their battery. I'll see you tomorrow. T tomorrow? You want to come to my house? Please don't come because then they will kill me. Please. They will not kill you. That's my card. When you get to the house and there's a problem, give me a call and I will come. What's the matter? Huh? What's the problem? Um, I don't have a phone. I, I, I've never had a phone. to get yourself a phone. There is still time. I will be expecting your call today. Boy. Take it, please. If I can, I'm very happy with you for not allowing the date, the sudden death of your husband to affect you. I met to be a son, a maker, about three days ago. He's not doing badly at all. Thanks for the compliment. I appreciate. Thank you. But sincerely, I am here for something else. Something that concerns you. Myself? Yes. And what could that be? As the head of uh, Umolisa, extended family, why haven't you called uh, Ichi Ilo Akasia and wife to order? No, 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 I don't understand. What do you mean by calling them to order? Ichi Ilo Akasia and wife are planning to force that orphan child living with them into committing suicide. They don't treat her like a human being at all. It's all gone oh. to be good. Okay. Thank you very much for taking this pens. You see, I want to leave a posterity to judge a you know, I can see the wife. So, don't disturb yourself. I'm a man maker. Linda, how did it go? Your Majesty, I decided not to bother you with my calls. I called him a couple of times, but he didn't pick. I'm still here waiting for him. What do you mean by 
You are still there. You mean he, he didn't come there? All the things I prepared are still here with me. I'm still waiting for the prince. Okay, I'll call you back there. Then where did he go? Uh, he told me he was going to see Linda when he left my side. Uh, what is going on with me? Where did he go? Joanna's been seen. This guy's more serious. How come I didn't see this coming? I just spoke with Linda and she confirmed that you didn't come to her place. What happened? But I ran into something bigger than Linda, so I changed my mind. Something bigger than Linda? And what could that be? I'm not confirming anything. But since you and Dad started piling up pressure on me to get married, today is the day I saw someone with possible hope of becoming a wife to me. That unprecedented hope is bigger than Linda. That's all I can say for now. Do I understand that to mean you ran into another woman? Not just another woman. A woman with potential. A woman whose potential could not be nurtured because she was from a poor background. There was no way she could maximize it. A woman who would appreciate whoever helps her maximize her potential. That is the kind of woman I want to get married to. Not some babe like Linda who has everything going for her who is already made. I forbid you. Not before you're a prince. The heir apparent to the throne. Do you think I'll sit here and watch you bring anyone that had no son that into this family? But I get sick. I get sick each time you make reference to whatever it is you call no son in. There is nobody in this world who doesn't have a son in. Even a child born by a single parent has a son in because he or she did not fall from the skies. I want to get married to a woman whom I will be part of her history, not someone who has a flourishing history already. Let me be sincere with you. You don't know what you're saying. I think I've been quiet and silent on this. That's why they think I'm some boy they can push around anyhow. It's about time I stood my ground. Have I not been vindicated? Have I not been vindicated? I told you people that Obi Oba has been stealing from me, but you wouldn't listen. See, she has a new phone. Give me. Eh? Chakolo. This girl will not kill me in this house. Mm -hmm. at me like that. Thief. Tell them where you got the money to buy this phone. I'm not a thief. You must stop calling me a thief because you know I'm not a thief. Shut up your mouth. You useless kid. Where did you get the money to buy this phone? I know this phone. It's my phone that I bought to She's not in the line. She's not in the line though. If we are. <laughs> hey, Mama. Yes. Where did you get money to buy this phone? <laughs> when I, I, I ran into the prince when I was almost, I was about to be raped by, by a rapist. He's the one that gave me the money to buy the phone. That's no. not going to trade, Mom. <laughs> she seduces men and sleeps with them. I wonder so, what she did with the prince, that useless prince. Obi, Mama. Now tell me. What did you do with the prince that made him to buy such an expensive phone for you? What did you do? I did not say anything. I did not do. Good evening. Good evening, madam. We were just 
discussing about you and you entered. I explained to Collins here that I gave that maiden some money to get herself a phone. And he told me my benevolence might have landed her in trouble. I can't see Collins is right after all. I've just come to tell you that I'm interested in her and I would not want her to be punished for anything. was not explicit. From the way she sounded, she sounded weak. And I have this feeling that the prince is interested in someone else. Huh? I regret not listening to you. <sighs> Linda. At this point, I am going to let you handle this your way. But first of all, order advise you to go to the palace. Meet the prince face to face and confirm from him first. Yeah. If he wants me, he will come here and find me. As long as he's not ready to follow it up and woo me like a lady, he can as well go to hell. You know, seriously, this is one reason I don't give in to any man. Until he has proven his intentions beyond reasonable doubt. To be sincere, this young man has done nothing to me. He promised me nothing. I'm just the one that did not apply caution to all of this. <laughs> My prince, I don't understand what you mean by interacting with the maiden. Do you mean you want to make her your wife? If God decides to make her my wife, I will be delighted. What I know is that she's qualified to be a wife to me. God is the one to make it work. Um, <clears throat> I will personally do everything within my power to make her marry you. Oh, thank you. In that case, I'll send someone to come over tomorrow and pick her up at noon. Mm. I'd like to interact further with her at the palace. No problem. No problem. <laughs> hey. There is something I want to make clear to you. I know the prince very well, and he cannot just give you money without taking advantage of you. Can you deny it? Ijoma, you know it very well yourself that when it comes to opening up to men, I am not as useless as you are. How dare you? How dare you be useless? Huh. Is it me that you called useless? Slap me again. Right here. Slap me again. I will so deal with you in this house. I will deal with you in this house. Hello? Hello, this is the prince. I'm already at the palace. I already told your auntie and your uncle not to send you on any errand tomorrow. Why though? My prince, I am not a lazy person. I am not afraid of walking. Tomorrow is exempted. I will send someone to bring you to the palace. Get ready and make sure you are in your best dress. Okay, my prince. I will be waiting. And thank you for coming at the time you did today. You saved me from being flogged. God saved you. And he'll continue to save you. Huh. Bye bye. If a madonna, the Jennifer to 
Onye Onyechukwu nedu Adigi ano madu geme you said you consulted the chief priest on this issue. I also did. And from what has happened so far, I would like to suggest that we allow him to choose his own wife by himself. But what if he chooses someone that is not royalty? Oh, come on. Let's not preempt his decisions yet. He's the one who's going to marry the woman, not us. Your Majesty. This son was given to us by God. Mm -hmm. And so far he has proven to be decent. Yes. Your Majesty, it's our responsibility to guide him so that he doesn't make mistakes. Especially when it comes to this issue of picking a wife. So what makes you think he won't make the right decision? Hmm? Now, forget that he's our son. He's now a man. A lawyer. They call them um, a learned gentleman. <laughs> Let us trust him to make the right decisions. <laughs> Your Majesty, why are you sounding this way? We are talking about royalty, royal marriage that has a particular pattern, and we must stick to that pattern. Hmm. My beautiful, darling, lovely queen. I do not know the pattern that you are talking about. Remember that I found you by myself. And my father did not stick to any pattern by imposing a woman on me. He allowed me to choose my own wife. And here you are. An excellent wife to the king. Hmm? Let us trust the Nawife. Let us allow him to enjoy the same privilege. I'm humbled by the reason you gave for choosing the hawker you met only today. That means I was right in choosing to come to the palace to work as your personal assistant. You're a good man with a good heart. And God will bless you for choosing to help the poor and the downtrodden. Collins, it wouldn't be right to call her a hawker. She's not a hawker. She passed her own level. As a matter of fact, the overall best student in the community college. Her uncle and his wicked wife turned her into a hawker so they can make her useless in life. And God sent you to salvage her. I'm humbled by that. That is why I'll give you all the assistance you need to succeed in this your mission. I hold myself before the Queen Mother. I shall live long, Your Majesty. I overheard you telling my son that you will assist him. What are you assisting him on? Your Majesty. I... I will... What's the meaning of this? When did you become a samurai? What are you promising my son? I'm sorry, Mum, but this imposition has gotten out of hand. Does it mean I can't have a private conversation in my own wing of the palace with my personal assistant without having you interfere? Who has bewitched you? Why are you talking to your mother like that? Alright, excuse me, Your Majesty. My prince. The woman I have chosen for myself will be in this palace tomorrow. Judge her when you see her. Who is she and who are her parents? She has no parents. As a matter of fact, she's an orphan whom God sent my way for me to wipe her tears. That's a huge responsibility that has all the ingredients of nobility. And I will never shy away from that responsibility. Why am I having this feeling that you're being controlled from somewhere? From the camp of the enemies of this land? And why do I have this feeling that my mother doesn't know when to stop? Brother, you weren't born into royalty. You were married from outside royalty and made royalty by marriage. That poor girl needs assistance. And we must give her assistance. If you do not mind, I wish to be left alone. Good evening, my dear. I have always noticed that you are the first person to come here every morning and fetch water. And you have always been the last person to come here at night. 
every other night. What kind of family are you from that uses water like this? Um, we, uh, my family, we, we need water a lot. We need water for different things. We, we use water in the morning, in the afternoon, uh, and in the night. You talk as if you are a slave to a family. And what type of family is it that uses a beauty like you as slave? I really want to fetch water and 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 return to fetch about two more gallons. The idea is that if I fetch en enough tonight, I will reduce my, my, my workload for tomorrow. Please. Can can I fetch them? I am bothered. If we allow her to get married to the prince, I disagree with you. It is our gain if she gets married to the prince because we will get connected to the crown and become royalty by marriage. From all that I have gathered, the madness started today. The prince has not made any inquiries on her. But trust me, by tomorrow, no more inquiries will be made on her head. Have you stopped to ask yourself what will become of us when they finally find out that she is a witch? Won't they tag us family that are involved in witchcraft? Spare me all those details. You and I know very well that Obioma is not a witch. She is never a witch. She has nothing to do with witchcraft in any way. We fabricated all this to dehumanize her and to make her feel like committing suicide. If God has decided to smile at us through her, let us be happy. I hate it so much when you try to convince me of that. Eh? Why we God Suddenly smile at us through your Obioma. Because he is God. Can't you see? If not God, how can the prince leave all the beautiful maidens in Abadani and beyond come seeking for Obioma's hand in marriage? Obioma, who does not even have a single clue to put on to impress anybody. Eh? Colega. Let us swallow our pride and bless their marriage to succeed because we are going to benefit from it. We are going to be royalty through Obioma's marriage with the prince. Repentance. Repent. She matched the overall best student in her all levels at the community college. Mother, she has so much hidden potentials. And I love her so much. I want to get married to her so I can unravel those hidden potentials. I forbid you. Do you hate me this much? Hate? What do you mean by that, Mother? So, if I was dead already, and you were left with the responsibility of bringing in someone that could replace me. So, so this thing, 
is what she could have brought for them to give my staff of office. Mother, just stop this endless recourse to physical attributes. Look beyond the physical. Looks can be deceptive, you know. I am going to close my eyes. And by the time I open them, you must have developed wings and fly away like the witch that you are. And never you again step foot in this palace. Get out! allowed you to bring in that useless girl to desecrate my husband's eyes? The girl you brought here is not qualified to be seen by the king. Your majesty, I know you trust my judgment. Your son here brought in a girl that does not even know the basic rules of millennium makeup. She's gone and over my dead body will she ever set foot in this house again. Father, what has come over her? What is wrong with mother? That girl is the girl I love and she's the one I want to get married to. Why would she say that would only happen over her dead body? I will only give you one advice, my son. Do not let a maiden come between you and your mother. I will not allow her to impose a woman on you. But if she doesn't like the one you have found, find another. Your mother will do something remarkable the day you bring the one she loves. She will willingly hand her her staff of office. Walk towards that, my son. She doesn't know the basic rules of millennium makeup and doesn't dress well. Since when did my mother become this materialistic? My prince, what happened? What did you tell her? My mother wants to resurrect the bad boy in me. She wants to see the dark side of me, the dark guy I was on campus. She shouldn't dare me. Confusing me. I don't know what happened. What happened? What did you tell her that made her run away like that? I want to be left alone. I, I want to be left alone. My friends, you've already denounced campus confraternity, whatever they are called. You're not a new man. You better start below at that. Nobody should force you to go back to your vomit. Gentlemen, don't go back to your vomit, my friends. I presume that you are Ichie Ilu Akasia of Eno village. I am here to warn you. Warn your niece to stay away from my son. They don't belong to the same level and they shall never. Your Majesty, I was made to understand that it was your son that ran into my niece when she was busy with her legitimate business of hawking cruising for my wife. Like you said, my niece told your son that they are not of the same class, but your son wouldn't listen. And that is because of the witchcraft that she bewitched my son with. Now listen to me each year. That sorcery and witchcraft you're practicing in this house will never work against my son. 
I don't want to come here for this again. <laughs> am I not vindicated? Huh? I am vindicated! Exactly what I said. The Queen now believes that we are into sorcery and witchcraft. That is rubbish. Am I the one that pushed Obi Wan to run into the prince? Eh? Both of them will have to sort themselves out. Why are you not seeing this from the right perspective? Okay. I'm not seeing it from the right perspective. You are the one that is not seeing it from the right perspective. Obioma's marriage to the prince is going to be a blessing to this family and I will not stop seeing the possibility of seeing it. The queen herself is too basic to stop it if God already approves it. If you have access to her, tell her that I said so. Why is he going on like this? This evil girl. She is exposing this family negatively of where? Okay. How will anyone explain this? I mean, what is he doing with a mere kerosene hawker? I felt like vomiting. When that man told me that it was my son, Nabife, that proposed to that girl as she was doing her business of kerosene hawking. <laughs> I feel terribly disappointed. Is that the kind of man I would have married? You're not getting the point. Nabife, my son, is a decent man. I just believe that he's being manipulated by our enemies. And all we have to do now is to rally around him until he comes back to his full senses. Sincerely, Your Majesty, I don't believe that. He knows the kind of woman he wants. He already made up his mind for the kind of woman he wanted. I hold nothing against him though. But I feel stupid that I didn't see all of this coming. Do not blame yourself, my daughter. He has made his choice. We have to respect his choice. But that hasn't watered down the fact that my daughter is a woman of class. Whatever evil veil that is covering Nabife, my soul's face, must be removed. All I know is that my son must marry the one I chose. And that person, my dear, is you, Linda. Okay? Don't worry. Seriously, Dad, I see this as a game plan. And in your capacity as a retired Air Force officer, I don't see you having a problem playing this game for my friend. There is only one reason I'm interested in this uh, quote and unquote game of yours. And that's why I will allow my husband to take part in it. I see genuine love. And I don't want that love to die. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much. I've already found for her a place she would be trained in cosmetology and fashion. She would do that for one year. I just want her to live with you. It will help me a lot. Young man, I actually understand what you want us to do for you. The only problem we would have encountered in this process would have been convincing my wife. But now she has accepted to help without waiting for me to ask. That means we are on the same point. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You don't know what you have done for me. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Oh. God bless you. Please, please, please. Stand up, please. You don't know what you have done. You don't understand how deeply you have touched me. By this, your decision to jettison all the opulence of class and marry the one you love. Don't worry. 
my husband and I will support you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's my parents for you. Oh yeah. I told you they will understand. <laughs> so you can love him and bring the woman. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. You don't know what you have done for me. Thank you, ma. Look at them. The people that want to marry the prince. You wake up with no class. Prima, let me ask you. What makes you think the prince will want to make you his wife? The problem with you is jealousy. And jealousy is not good for you. If the prince will marry me, your jealousy cannot even stop it. And who is jealous of who? <laughs> the charm with which you blinded the palace that made the prince look at you in the first place has cleared. He is gone and gone forever. So just wake up from that your useless dream and go and carry your pan of kerosene and hit the streets right away. Who God has blessed, no man can curse. I believe you have heard that before. And who is that fool that believes that God has blessed her? You? <laughs> Please, go on and hide. If the prince is coming for anyone in this family, that person should be me. Oh. oh. Look at that. Is the prince calling me? If only your jealousy can stop this call. Hello, my friends. How are you today? I'm fine, dear. And you? I'm fine. Aside being here with my sister that mocks me all the time. Do not join words with anybody. I've just finalized the arrangement with the parents you're going to stay with, the couple. I'm coming to pick you tomorrow. Huh? You are coming to take me tomorrow? To, to where, my friends? To a place where I'm finally going to prove to my mother that although she's my mother, she's a child and I am the man. And the man is the father of the child. I, I don't know what that means. But I shall be waiting for you tomorrow, my friends. Alright, stay blessed, my love. Did you just call me your love? love of my life. I'll come for you tomorrow. Huh. Okay. I I love you too. Alrighty. What did you just do? Obioma? Did you just report me to the prince? You are not the only sister I have. Besides, I didn't even call you me. I have too many sisters that hate me. I have haters everywhere. Nico. I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Mother, is this not the same Amaka who walked here as a maid? Why is she rotating herself in this palace before me? Since you have decided not to settle down with Linda, I remembered my own Amaka. Whom you once accepted in my presence and called an honorable woman. Amaka has associated so much with royalty that she is now royalty by association. So I want your son to begin to look at her as your wife to be. Why would you allow my mother to make a fool of you?
How do you mean, my prince? This is me. The same Amaka that served you. You know I'm not a fool. I rejected the woman I found as a wife. My father has given me permission to go find another one. I'm working towards it. Why are you looking for another one? Why you have Amaka here? Amaka has already been groomed into a queen. That you have designed Amaka to look like a queen does not make her one. I am looking for a woman who exudes nobility from within, from inside. Not one who merely looks like one. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am thrilled with your compliments. <laughs> you know why we are here, Chief. Our son, the Prince, told us that he found a beautiful thing in your house. Ah. Your youngest daughter. And uh, he told us that she is good enough to be his wife. You can say that loud, my king. He brought in so many of them, but rejected them all. But once your name was mentioned as the father of the maiden, we became interested. Why, my friend? Because in royalty, class maintenance is something we are committed about. So say you, my queen. I am particularly not interested now in the so-called class maintenance. <sighs> Who am I to argue with the king? Put all the blame on me and I will carry it with all my heart. The truth remains that so many were brought and we rejected them. But once your name was mentioned as the father of the maiden, we started to break all protocols to come and see her. <laughs> so please, can we have the honor to see our queen in the making? <clears throat> She is my last daughter. She just got back from Canada. My wife and I are still wondering how your son discovered her immediately. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he had to expand his ten tackles to get someone that would be accepted by us. And now he has finally found. That's right. I don't blame you, my son. He did well. Thank you. <laughs> well, I am happy to hear that. If our AUJ survives the royal scrutiny mm -hmm. and uh, is qualified to be the wife of the prince, who am I? We are ready to give her hand in marriage. Good, 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 good. Hey, my dear. I'm so amazed. Come here, my dear. <laughs> Have this. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will only give you one advice, my son. 
do not let a maiden come between you and your mother. I will not allow her to impose a woman on you. But if she doesn't like the one you have found, find another. Your mother will do something remarkable the day you bring the one she loves. She will willingly hand her her staff of office. Walk towards that, my son. <laughs> now it has really dawned on me that my father is a prophet. I told you. <laughs> Whatever that means. But this goes to show you that your mother is not as tough as you think. All I wanted was the best for you. And now that you have found the best, I've handed over my staff of office. Oh. <laughs> I humble myself before the Queen Mother. May your days be long and your reign forever. Oh, come on, save me those protocols. You are also a queen. And may your days be long too. Come on, get up from there, Cinder. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my queen. Uh, yes, my dear. Can't I just have this little conversation with my daughter-in-law without interference? I know you love her so much. I do too. <laughs> Sorry, Mother. I did not mean to interfere. I only came to let you know she just came back from Canada and might not have answers to all the traditional questions you would throw her. And who told you I was about asking her any question? I called her for us to have a little interaction, woman to woman <coughs> talk. Cool. See that. You go ahead and have some woman to woman talk with my mother. Mm -hmm. The intimidating queen mother of Abadani. What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Livia. <laughs> I don't know why he has that impression of you. I don't find you intimidating at all. That boy, don't mind my son. He always have a way of using strong words on his mother, but he also has his own children. <laughs> Trust me. Very intelligent woman. I don't need to remind you that. But I don't like the idea of you leaving your wife with her. She may sentence that lady to a series of technical questions that will make her unmask the game. Sincerely to tell you at this point, I'm not bothered about my mother. I have a man and I've made my choice. She has even blessed her by handing her a staff of office. So if she wants to mask the game, then so be it. You are talking like this because you are a prince. Are you a man? She's not. I feel she will have the thought of one day that your mother will get to find out who she really is. And how is that supposed to be a problem? How? Listen to me, colleagues. I appreciate the fact that you've been with me through this game. I don't want you to bother yourself over this. I'm not bothering myself about this. I'm concerned about the lady who is at the middle of everything. She's of a humble background like myself. And I feel I owe it to her as a duty to watch her back always. I love to hear it come from you. That you want to protect my wife and watch her back. But sincerely, I value her protection more than anybody in this palace. Huh? I'm very surprised the way you handle house shows. Hmm? You're so humble, down to earth, unlike the other ones that came back from Canada, US, UK, every other part of the world. I was raised by my mother. Mm. And then I was in Nigeria for the better part of my secondary school. Ah, even at that, you are so humble by every sense of word. Despite the fact that you are from the upper class family, your father was already made before he gave birth to you. And you are still humble, up to the level of learning how to cook, especially our local delicacy. Mm. Something I must applaud in you. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> now tell me something. Why did your father call you a Nuji? <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. Th that is my name. Why? Wow, you don't like it? No, no, no. I like it. But uh, with your father's level of exposure, I still wonder why he called you in Yuchi. question. Mm. He asked him why is it that African men are so quick to give their children Western names whereas no Western man will ever give an African name to his child. Mm. So resultantly the reality of that question sank in so deep into him that he made a decision never to give any of his children a Western name. Wow. Yeah. And so when I was born, he gave me AUJ. And I like the name. Wow. Mm. I like it too. You do? Um, AUJ. <laughs> Which means, it never crossed my mind. That name is very significant. Indeed. And I never knew that my son will come back home with such a beautiful angel like you. Oh, <laughs> can please stop it. You blew my mind when you talk like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Stero. I really appreciate it. Ah, does it mean that you must always oh. bad on me when I'm having a little interaction with my daughter-in-law? Why? I'm very sorry, boss. I apologize. The prince sent me to call your wife. The prince? Oh. The same prince I told that I want to have a little woman-to-woman -woman interaction with my daughter-in-law sent to you to come and pick her. Um, I'm sorry, boss. I beg to excuse my queen. Let me attend to him and I shall be right back. <laughs> it's okay, my angel. It's okay. I don't know why the king will send such an urgent message. Maybe the king has started misbehaving at the palace. Mm -mm. I lived with that girl in this house. Yes. And I can vouch for her 100%. She couldn't have changed into a monster overnight. My dear, I think I agree with you on that point. But I still cannot lay my hands on why the king should ask me to report to this palace with such urgency. Well, you're dressed to go already. Yeah. Good. I'll find out when you get there. Alright. Alright. Come back, Elio. I'm going to miss that girl. Really? What kind of miss? The number one missing, someone misses someone. I mean, the prince, my friend, has actually opened my eyes. And right now, I'm on the lookout for a humble girl that will grow into a wife. Not all these materialistic chicks hovering around me. <laughs> Seriously. Well, fortunately, your father and I would not impose any girl on you. Bring the girl first. I will judge her on face value. Hmm? Can I ever find a girl like that girl?
The message was rather urgent and thought-provoking. And I was wondering why my king wants to see me. And I thought you'd turn down the invitation, since my son has not done what he's supposed to do for you as an in-law. What could it be? Why should I turn down your invitation? Oh God, be am alone now. The age-long tradition of our people. Under normal circumstances, you are not supposed to be here when my son has not held a feast for you. And for you to know where your daughter is married to. My invitation to you was to test you. That you're here means that you and my son are on the same page. You are equally not bothered. That is the truth, my king. Mm. Such things don't bother me. Mm. My daughter is already married to your son. And they live happily like man and wife. A traveled man like me should align himself with international best practices. Hmm. I will not be among the ignorant population that will not visit their in-laws because a welcome feast has not been organized for them. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Chief Ilodibe, your in-law here is the king of Agbadani Kingdom. A man committed to the sustenance of the culture and tradition of our people. We need to hold a banquet in your honor for you to invite all the people you wish to bring. That is Ogo Biamalono. That is the last phase in the phases of marriage. And a king like me will not play down on that. As it pleases you, my king. I will get back to you on this. Ilodibe, I will not discuss this any further. I assert that the feast must hold. And I concur with my king. The feast we hold, I will get back to you when we shall all gather here for the feast. I'll be waiting. I discussed with your father on the need for the feast. And he's so reasonable. You'll get back to me on the date and uh, we'll get it done with immediately. My dear, this is life in the palace and that's my father for you. Always, always looking for an excuse to throw a party. You sound as if you don't like the idea of Ogo Biamalono. <laughs> Listen, son, other families may play down on tradition, but you, who will emerge as king after me, should not follow in that. Uh, in that example. Oh, you're back already? Yes, Your Majesty. Though I didn't meet him at home, they said he took his son to school. I dropped a message that he must try and finally to see me tomorrow. Hmm. I have been wondering why you you need to see the cat kissed. Hmm. It's simple. Because I want my beautiful daughter-in-law here to be the president of the CWA. Simple. How could you think of me like that? Someone who just got married and is happy? You want to make her president of CWO in Abadan of all places? Someone who is not up to set in manner. President over all those women I know. Come on, son. This is politics. Allow me play it. I want my beautiful daughter-in-law here to be relevant among all women. Mm -hmm. Um, before I forget, I saw uh, Mr. Ilo Akasia of Enu. New village. Mm -hmm. That uh, the uncle to that miserable witch that my son wanted to bring in this family. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. You don't say such. We have a wife here now, and there are things you shouldn't say. Uh, come on, don't underestimate the intelligence of this beautiful, elegant girl here. I know that she wouldn't mind. Oh, do you? It doesn't bother me who it is, the prince in you know, his past. I, I'm married to him now. Besides, intelligent people don't judge people based on their past. Mm. Perfect! Did you hear that, Your Majesty? He's an intelligent, elegant, beautiful queen. I saved my son from marrying 
that low class wretched witch. I can imagine a girl that hawks kerosene everywhere that my son brought here to see the king. I stopped him from seeing that miserable low class girl. At least you should tell me. Law, law. Your Majesty. Well, that poor kerosene seller could have been an angel in the Huche, don't ever say a thing like that. You cannot judge what can never be judged. If she wants to be an angel, let her be an angel somewhere else, not in this palace. No, a low class girl. No, no, no. Enough. Enough. And every day all I do is continually pray for more grace to endure through the extreme decisions she keeps making. Exactly, my love. Grace. Pray for more grace to endure her because it's so just my mother is impossible. I mean, were you not the same girl she called classless, low life and all of that? And here we are today. She likes you to high heavens and even wants to make you the president of CWO. What does that tell you? It simply means she's not that intelligent. Come to think of it. How in the world did she concoct the idea of having me as the CWO president? I mean, how is that even possible? Maybe she's just trying to prove to you she loves you. Loves me? <laughs> no, 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 she does not love me. She loves Eyuchi, daughter of Chief Indo Dibe. Eyuchi is nothing but a mirage, and I wonder what her reaction will be when she finds out that all of this is a mirage, that AUJ is a mirage. Maybe by then she would have made you the president of CWO. Please don't even say that. Because you know that there is no way the women of Abada will make me the CWO president. It's not possible. I can't even pass on it. <laughs> you know, from your language, I can decipher you don't know the kind of mother-in-law you have. For her to even think about it. For her to go all the way to meet the cat kissed. I can only tell you to get ready and get prepared. Because my mother will go all out to give you that office. Oh if that happens, there will be nothing short of magic. And I cannot wait to see how that will play out. You talk as though you love it. Well, I don't. But right now, I don't even know what I love or do not love. Tell them. <laughs> I know you might call them ancient or outdated, but trust me, these are the most valuable assets I've kept for a long time. It was given to me by my mother the very day I went to tell her that I was getting married. <laughs> wow. <sighs> they don't look ancient or outdated to me. They're beautiful. Oh. You like them? Mm -hmm. That's why I went to bring them from the safe where I kept them all this while. Take them. They're all yours now. Mine? Mm -hmm. you, you want me to have them? <laughs> hey, Nuche. You haven't seen anything yet. You see, you made my husband and my son trust me more. Mm -hmm. If not because I resisted my son's choice of spouse, he would have gone to marry that witch into this house. But my resistance um, helped him expand this search. And I'm so happy he found you. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. I'll have you know that I will forever remember this day as a day you deemed me fit. You counted me worthy to, to benefit from a gift so precious given to you by your mother. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> you are the most beautiful thing that happened to this palace. 
and I promise to give you all the love you require from a mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm happy you're here. <clears throat> I humble myself before your majesty, the queen mother of Abeda and kingdom. You shall live long, your majesty. And the new queen loved by everyone. Yes, yes. <laughs> God. You shall live long also. Thank you. A man who identified himself as Katkist is here to see your majesty. Oh. What should I tell him? Make him comfortable wherever he is. Tell him I'll join himself, okay? Okay, your majesty. And your queen. Greetings. A gift from your grandmother to your mother. And now from your mother to me. I love it very much. I love it. Best gift I ever got. Impressive. I've never seen this before. Well, she did say that she brought it out from the safe where she had hidden it for years. Look at this. I don't even know what to do with it yet, but I love it so much. Wow. Ain't you lucky to have a mother and a who cherishes you so much? Me. Are you jealous? Huh? Are you? <laughs> By the way, cut here. Where? Here, in the palace. Um, somewhere discussing with your mother. Huh. Get ready. What? Get ready to be the president of the seed of you. I know my mother. Whatever she starts, she concludes. I know. You just saw the cat kisses here. Get ready for the office. What's your <laughs> My dear cat kiss, you have to cut down on semantics and realize that you're talking to a woman who has seen it all. You see, there's politics in everything we do in life, even in the church. And this is politics, and I want to play it. I want her to emerge as the president in the forthcoming election. That decision is not within my powers, Your Majesty. The CWO just overcame a major crisis that almost grounded them in our parish. The worst thing we can think of now is to double into their politics, especially at this moment of recovery. Who are those that you call to set the ball rolling? I need to start calling them this night. It appears to me that you are really serious with this quest of making that young lady the president of CWO. This is someone who has not even given birth to a child. I know the constitution of the CWO. And it was never stated that a woman must have a child before she emerges as a president. Rather, it states that a woman must be popular among other women. And that is the process I must start now. How much? Do you really think this is all about money? I don't think. I know. Everything in life is all about money. How much will it cost? I finally got word from Chief Ilodibe. He'll be coming tomorrow for the Ogobia Malono. So give the necessary instructions to the cooks and other palace workers. I want the event to be a memorable one. Must it be tomorrow? I have to shift it forward a little bit. Why would you want the event postponed? I want to make her the president of the CWO. And August meeting is next month. I would like her to be the president before the Ogobia Maru. Listen, woman. I do not care the politics you play with your daughter-in-law in the Women's Assembly. But please, do not interfere with my decisions as king. The banquet holds tomorrow. Give the necessary instructions. Uh, are you expecting other visitors? Or is it only uh, Chief uh, I don't even think um, Chief Ilodi is coming with her people. 
Just prepare for about 20 people and uh, whatever happens tomorrow, we'll handle it. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, it's rather too urgent, but I will see what I can do about it. For me to have called you here, for you to understand how important this is to me, and how urgent I need it. This party is going to hold here tomorrow by 4 p.m. and I want something beautiful and elegant by 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. I've ever disappointed you before. I'm not, I will not start now. I'm sorry for the way I sounded, but I want something elegant by 2 p.m. tomorrow. It's okay. I won't disappoint you. Well, Your Majesty, I have to take my leave now. We have a lot to do. Of course, we're not going to sleep this night because of the job. That's why I call perfect touch. Get me something elegant by 2 p.m. tomorrow. I promise. All right. Good night, Ma. Collins, what's the matter with you? Why do you want to spoil this party? Why bring in people that are not supposed to be here? Um, calm down, Your Majesty. He is Ichi Obierika. I invited him for he has a vital role to play in this party. Yeah, this is true. Why do I have the feeling that there's something you're not telling me? This wonderful banquet organized by the king in his wisdom has provided me the opportunity to make an important confession that will help to put things straight. The prince had a dream and needed people that will help him actualize the dream. Ichie Bebirika here did excellently well and I must commend him any time, any day. What is your father up to? Your Majesty, the prince once brought a maiden that he wanted to marry for introduction. Before the king could see her, you already chased her away from the palace. Why do you bring such topic here? Can't you see the environment and the atmosphere? <laughs> My daughter stand. Your majesty, standing before us here, Adorned in the same attire as you, my daughter Eyuche, who is already married to the prince according to the traditional laws of Abadan Kingdom, is one and the same Ubioma that you chased away from the palace. I beg your pardon. Explain of that. What did you just say? I forbid you. 
do you hate me this much? Hate? What do you mean by that, mother? So, if I was dead already, and you were left with the responsibility of bringing in someone that could replace me. So, so this thing is what you could have brought for them to give my staff of office. Mother, just stop this endless recourse to physical attributes. Look beyond the physical. Looks can be deceptive, you know. I am going to close my eyes. And by the time I open them, you must have developed wings and fly away like the witch that you are. And never you again step foot in this palace. Get out! Oh, oh, yeah. What did you just say? Your Majesty, I'm happy that we have a king that believes in equality of all before the law. The king gave her a chance, but you never did. They approached me to play the role of a dad, just to get what you call surname. I played that role because I saw real love in them. Class difference is unknown to love. Because in reality, class maintenance is something we are committed to. So say you, my queen. I particularly am not committed to the so-called class maintenance. Who am I to argue with the king? Put all the blame on me and I will carry it with all my heart. The truth remains that so many were brought and we rejected them. But once your name was mentioned as the father of the maiden, Many families, as they tried to conquer love, they conquered themselves and went into the bondage of love. I want to stop my speech here by telling all of us that love is a conqueror. What rubbish. This is not happening. Oh, this witch. This witch made me look like a fool. I will kill her. I will squeeze her with my own hands. There is war in the palace. War between reality and class maintenance. War between love and lust for materialism. Chief Ilodibe has set the record straight. Reality won. Love won. I understand all of what you just said. I do. But what about me? And what about the queen? What will she think of me by now? You know, she should think. She'll think I bewitched you. And how is that supposed to affect your happiness in this palace? How? She would say you bewitch me. Did you bewitch me? Just overcome it and let's get over this. I did not see this coming. But thank God for giving Chief Lodibe the wisdom to do what he did. from you because you've already proven who you are. A bloody schema for the pit of hell. How could you pull such stunt on my intelligence? 
What makes you think that you will marry my son through tricks and deception? Oh, mom, will you stop with this unnecessary ranting? This is my wife, the woman I already got married to. The woman you were planning to make the CWO president. The same woman you handed the gift of the ancient gold. Stop calling her names and stop bringing extreme dimensions into this. I love this woman and there is nothing you can do about it. Are you this heartless? Have you seen what you've turned my son into? He has lost his senses! He hasn't turned into anything! And I have not lost my senses. My senses are intact. I strongly believe that she will take him very soon. And I hope she bears me a son. Let the gun salute and the sound of the ikolo judge her when that son arrives. This useless girl here will never get pregnant in this house. Not to talk of the gun salute and the sound of ikolo. She will never get pregnant. Mark my words. I said so. She hates me even more than she ever loved me. She hates me! So, as it stands now, there are four authorities in this palace. My father, the king, is the head of all principalities, authorities, and powers. My mother, who just acted up, is an authority. I, as the heir to the throne, I am an authority. And by virtue of being my wife, you are an authority. So don't let my mother intimidate you. <laughs> you are just as important. Yeah, I must agree. He rejected me. But looking at the extent he went to get the one he loves, I must tell you, babe, I respect him the more, and I hold him in high esteem. Are you serious? Hmm? Do you know I am really stunned with your understanding? Because I was expecting you to get mad at him, just... I am him. not a sadist, my dear. <laughs> I love them, I must admit. But we're not meant to be. The one he finally married is his wife. And we must respect her office as the next queen of this land. Respect her office. When the news is everywhere that the queen ordered her out of the palace. Sincerely, I don't want to talk about that woman. You know, the same woman you preached to high heavens last day. She's still domineering for my liking. I'm happy the way things went. If I had married the prince, I would have given her the hell that she deserves. <laughs> oh my god, this is unbelievable. Seriously, I wish the queen is here to listen to what you just said. Okay, yes, she hears it. <laughs> I got so close to the queen and mm -hmm. I discovered she's so different from the king. Oh. I'm so happy the way things turned around. The made her a fool in the palace. I'm happy she learned her lessons the hard way. Oh. <laughs> what a word. Your Highness, I feel very nervous when I get such a message from the king. Why are you bringing royalty to ridicule? I don't understand, Your Majesty. I don't understand you either. You are beginning to bring out some strange characters I never knew you had. What do you mean by characters? Like calling Chief Lodi me, for example, to one him. How could you have done a thing like that? The role he played for our son should be applauded. Applauded, you said. That he brought a nobody that skimmed her way into the heart of the king and I should applaud him? Do you know why I called you into the throne room? Take a look around this place. Look. Feel the sacredness of this venue. 
Now, realize on where you are. Look at me in the face and tell me what you want. Simple. I want you to use your power and annul this marriage. This marriage was anchored on tricks, manipulation, and unprecedented deception. Can you listen to yourself? Can you hear yourself speak? The same marriage that was sealed with the rights of our the kingdom is the one you stand here to tell me to dissolve? I don't want you to push me to the point that I cannot take. Oh, look at it. Even my husband is not angry with me. Just because of that witch. Don't give me that crap. She is not a witch. Listen, let me settle this immediately. I like that girl. The fact that she's from a poor background does not change the fact that she is a normal woman. Learn to live with that. Don't push me. That girl skimmed her way into this palace. It could be said that she married our son by tricks. She tricked us all. And by the federal law, that is a criminal offense. In this kingdom, evil deceit is held as witchcraft. Your Majesty, you have fought tooth and nail to uphold the laws of this kingdom. What she did with the assistant of Chief Ilodibe is against the laws of this land. Why are you undermining the law? Remember what Chief Ilodibe said? Many families try to conquer love. In the process, they conquer themselves and end up in bondage. In the bondage of that same love, they set out to conquer. Love conquers all. I do not want to be conquered by love. I do not want to be in bondage of love. Allow her enjoy her marriage. Not happen. I strongly believe that she will take in very soon, and I hope she bears me a son. Let the gun salute and the sound of the ikulu judge her when that son arrives. This useless girl here will never get pregnant in this house. It's a dream. They are dreaming. They are dreaming. Hello? This is Katsuki's calling. I've made significant progress in the task of making your daughter-in-law the CWO president. I don't know why you have not called as promised. Katsuki's cancel everything. Cancel everything? How do you mean? That girl is a schemer. She cannot lead the CWO. I'm so sorry for all the moves I made to make her the president. I'm so sorry about that. Cancel everything! I truly do not know what to do again regarding the Queen. My presence irritates her. I don't even know what approach to, to use and make her begin to see me again as her daughter-in-law. If you listen to me, my dear, do not worry about her. My father is the head of this household. Once he's happy with you, you are covered. It's easy for you to say that because you're not in my shoes. She is my mother-in-law. I never envisaged that I'll be married and I'll be having serious problems with my mother-in-law. You don't have any problems with her. She's the one who has problems with herself. 
It is the will of God that you and I are man and wife today. Let's forget about my mother and talk about ourselves. Yesterday, you said something about the gun salute and the sound of the ikolo. What does that mean? It is believed that the arrival of the heir to the throne will bring cleansing to the land. And that cleansing will expose all evil. How? I mean, what connection does that have to do with the sound of the ikolo and the gun salute? Let's assume you have a son for me. That son becomes the heir apparent to the throne and will reign as king after me. Mm -hmm. Tradition holds that that child will not die until he sits on the throne. Even if he's involved in an auto crash or a plane crash and every other person dies, he still will not die. That surely sounds like a fairy tale. I, I mean, how is that possible? When the heir to the throne arrives the palace, there shall be gun salutes. And then the Ecolomba Teze sounds. That sound will summon everybody to the palace. Mm -hmm. That sound will also ensure the spirit of the newborn child in the abode of the ancestors. Tradition holds that by that he will not die until they make him king. And even when they make him king, he still will not die until he brings a son into the world to reign after him. It's a very weird story. So how, how is the arrival of my son going to judge me? Once the child arrives the palace, it's assumed he brings cleanse into the land. And if you did anything evil to get me married to you like my mother alleged, you will confess. A day when I shall have no confession to make because I did nothing wrong. I know. You don't have to tell me, my queen, for I know. I can't believe that a senior officer like you is overworking yourself over what a confused woman said. For the king, I would have dealt with that woman. She is the original problem in that palace, and still she does not want to stop. She's only trying to protect her She's son. She's not protecting her son! Flora, how can you say a thing like this? She's only bringing royalty to public radical. I understand that she did her all she could to stop her son from getting married to the poor girl. Now they are married. And she understands all that's happened. Why can't she let a poor girl enjoy her marriage? Why? I see your point. <sighs> but that's not enough for you to refuse your food. Please, my love. I made a very delicious meal. Not now. I just lost my appetite. Not now. Please. Come on, please. I humble myself before the queen. 
Please listen to me. You don't need to explain anything. Your presence alone irritates me. Please, Your Majesty. I am not as evil as you see me to be. I am innocent. It was the prince that planned everything. And I couldn't help but follow all of his instructions because I can't find myself refusing him anything. If you want me to believe that you're not a schemer, then leave this palace that you entered through the tricks of Satan and go back to that your cursed family. Go back to your useless Ichi Obielika that introduced as the head of your family and wait until my son comes to marry you properly. But I am already married to your son, your majesty. And you already accepted me as daughter-in-law. You even went further to give me the gift of gold. I love your son and he loves me. Oh, you shut up. What do you know about love? And why do you parade yourself as married? Married from where? Oh, from the house of Air Commodore Ilodibe, who introduced you as a Nuche, his last daughter. Why are you even reminding me of what I've forgotten? Your entrance to this house was based on tricks, and I will never accept you as a daughter in law in this house. I humble myself before the Queen Mother. You shall live long, Your Majesty. Why are you here? I'm here for her, Your Majesty. The king wants to see her. For what? I don't know, Your Majesty. He didn't tell me. I surely cannot question the king on why he sent me to get someone. <laughs> don't even in your wildest dream think that you can bewitch my husband with that witchcraft in you. He is the head of principalities and powers in this land. If you think that you can bewitch my husband, if you try it, I will kill you with my bare hands. Did you hear me? by the throne. Think of honor of serving the king and not the burning anger of the queen mother. Let us go. My prince, I see it as an honor that they chose this land for that project. Please try and convince the king. They, they can build up to 500 housing units in, in two years. That is something. You know, on face value, this proposal is good. Yes. But as a lawyer, I will need to study it further. I will need to study it thoroughly so as to be able to understand every part of it. I cannot advise the king on what to do at this moment until I've studied it. Okay. When are we looking at? Uh, just give me a week. I'll, I'll call you. Well, that's okay by me. I'm waiting for your call. Okay. Eh? I'll see you later. I enjoyed the opera so by Ed last night. I asked and I was told you are the one who cooked it. So I called to know if I might uh, enjoy something similar from my wife's son again this night. Your Highness, you don't have to say it twice. It's a big honor to cook what the king will eat. 
I already told my husband that we don't even need a cook in this palace. I am here and I can cook everything that we eat. <laughs> there are so many things you don't understand, my dear. In this palace, we receive a lot of visitors and there is no way you can cook for them all. You are a wife, not a staff. Well, the cook can be instructed to cook for events and, and visitors while I cook what we eat on a daily basis. I don't mind. Settled. I will give you instructions today. In fact, from now on, you are the one that must cook all the food that I eat. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. I'm quite humbled. You're welcome. Excuse me. Then come back, my dear. You are here by an act of God. To them, it was a game. And it was their game that brought you here. But I see it differently. How else can you explain the fact that the queen of all people could not recognize the very same girl she chased out of the palace? It was God that made it possible. Keep believing in that God and he will never abandon you. Um, here, wipe your tears. God is still God. Are you sizing me up? No, feel free. Enjoy your optical freedom, Melody Whitbar. So, what exactly do you do for a living? Oh, that. If you must know, I am managing my father's rice mill. And this rice mill I'm talking about has six sound milling machines that drop an annual turnover of six million naira. I don't care. I'm not greedy. So I'm okay with the money. I'm not bothered. So, what plans are you making as a man? to invent new ways of making money? Or do you intend forever to rely on your father's will to survive? Melody Whitbar. Tell me, why are you asking me personal questions? Is there something you want which you are not telling me? No, feel free, don't be shy. You're not going to answer them? Bella the witch bar. I understand how you feel. But I'm going to sort you out. By the time I take you inside my room, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about me. I'm going to unleash my autobiography. This room I'm talking about is air conditioned and it has like 82 inches orthopedic foam for your comfort. You know, some people in my office said you're a clown. I'm beginning to see the clown for real. <laughs> you see, Jerry represents many things to many people. But you can only be a witness if you can test the sweetness of Jerry. So relax, let's go inside the room. Let me show you how hot I am. That's the clown talking. What? What you? What you take me for? Huh? You think I'm one of those girls you deceive with is? Why are you asking me to your room? What is wrong with you, sir? What is wrong with you now? I don't like this. Why are you making me look like a quack doctor? I'm not a quack doctor. I've given you all sorts of injections. I've given you chloroquine, I've given you paraquine, I've given you artisunet, combined with metacalfrin, plus or minus the enamel work of antibiotics. It's not working. What type of girl are you? If you had known you were not going to follow me into the room, why did you come now? I don't like this. Jerry, I came here to sort you out. Take a good look at me from my head to my toe. 
an award-winning radio presenter to be taken by a Casanova like you? You are not serious. Yes, thank you, sir. Why you call me hot? Relax. Don't mind me, though I'm hot tempered. You need to understand. Uh, you will not blame me. I was only trying to, you know, I was only trying my luck. You know what they say, there is no harm in trial. So, but as it stands now, there is no problem. From my church mind, let's go, I will show you around. I'm sure you will see a room you will like. I will not just stay there for free. I will not even collect thing over from you. Just to show you how philanthropic I am. Derry. I don't think I'll be able to live under one roof with your kind of character. No! Have you checked yourself up? It's written all over you that you're a rapist. And I, I don't want to be raped, okay? Listen, don't bother yourself. I'll find another place to rent. Please! Place. I give you a comfortable apartment. You are doing a scam. 24 inches mattress, air conditioned, rejected it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about Yes, fellow, the wheat bar. The sweet voice on the radio. The angelic moment. Bye. I love your program. Oh, keep it up. Keep it up. I know soon you'll be giving an award. Hey. Ijoma. Who is she? Your girlfriend? Ah uh ah. -uh. Girlfriend of what? This is Melody Whit. Don't tell me you don't listen to radio. That was Melody Whitby, the presenter of Angelic Moment. The girl with the voice that can raise the dead. You should, you should know Melody Whitby now. I listen to her program on radio. She's the one. You know her? Ah. Uh -uh. This is Jerry now. Jerry knows everybody. Everybody knows Jerry. We just finished that interview. So she just left. Wow. Yes. That's big. She came to interview you in your house? Hey, Joma, don't tell me you are looking down on Jerry. I'm a man in authority. You should know that now. This is Jerry. I'm a man in authority. I know people. I'm a man of timber and caliber. You should know now. <laughs> what kind of authority? Don't tell me that you've been... Shh! My dear Ijom. I know what you want to say, naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not what you think. But I want to prove to you that we did not do anything. When you check the frequency of what I will do to you here now, you will confirm. So let's go. Let me carry it. <laughs> you mean? You... <laughs> Well, you surprised you. Your Majesty, ever since you married me, you've never dabbled into the affairs of the kitchen. How come you not get involved in the management of the kitchen? I sincerely do not know where I went wrong. Okon, your hired hand from Aquaibon, has been the one cooking what we eat. I can't remember the last time you cooked in this house. Has it gotten to this that you're not questioning what I do? I'm not questioning what you do. I'm only surprised that you are angry that I asked her to cook what we eat. What you eat, Your Majesty, not and never what I eat. I've warned her never to get involved with what I eat. What exactly do you want? This young girl who is married to her son is from this soil. I have tasted her food and I can confirm authoritatively that she cooks much better than Okon, your hired hand. Why do you hate your own sister so much? Simply because she comes from a poor family. Your Majesty, has she bewitched you to this level? That you're now whipping up sentiment to weaken me. Why can't you just call a spade a spade in this house anymore? And why do you want us to have problems over this issue? Listen, if you do not want to eat her food, avoid her food and get to court to prepare what you will eat. I have entrusted her with what I eat. This is my decision. 
and I do not want to discuss this issue any further. You can come in whenever you want. I'm losing grip of my husband. Who prepared this charm for her? That is, she's using on the two men in my life. I humble myself before Queen Mother. Shall live long, Your Majesty. I came to put off the light. Collins, tell me, have you been eating food from the new wife? Yes, of course, I have. In fact, I ate her vegetable soup this night that she cooked with stockfish and snail. What is your impression about her cooking with that of her corns? And now that you ask, Your Majesty, Sincerely speaking, I think Okon should be fired. He's simply an idiot. Yes. And what do you mean by that? Your Majesty, Okon doesn't know anything. The same ingredients we have in the kitchen that he has been cooking with is what a new wife cooks with. Now we know he has been cooking nonsense. Her food is class compared to what Okon cooks. I recommend a sack for Okon. I can go and tell him that and with a light Get out of my sight. Your Majesty. I can stay back and put If you don't leave, you get yourself fired. Get out! Good night, Your Majesty. You are simply a disgrace. Yes! It's about time I told you the truth. What is going over you? Eh? Am I the one talking to you like that? Why wouldn't I talk to you like that? Eh? All your life, we are just showing wickedness of Otto Yobioma. In your mind, you thought you were limiting her. You had all the concentration upon your child. That's your daughter. The only daughter you gave to me. Are we not in this together? Why exclude yourself and single me out for blame? Listen, let me tell you. It's Buta Sekenas. It is a big lie. Correct. Because I wanted to train that girl in the university when she passed her O level and jump, but you refused. All you wanted was for her to walk around your cuisine. That's all. Today, where is she? She is going to be the next Lola. The prince is already making her his wife. Where is your daughter? She is roaming about the whole of Abadani. Cheaply used by all the useless men. Enough of this rubbish! Enough! Why are you embarrassing yourself? Give her Ali Ali What is this? Iche, speak Ado! God will surely bless you for finally standing by the truth. You should seek the face of God. You are not just embarrassing yourself, but God Himself too. Mama, make Climb down the ladder and face your family. Oh, what have I done to you? God will judge you. God will judge your eyes and nose. You, this woman. What did I do to you? Eh? You are embarrassing yourself, not me. Look at the time you are carving the ladder. Eponsu, you don't want to face your family. You are not praising my husband. Possibly because you want to kill him like he killed your own husband. But I won't allow you. No, not into my inside my family. You won't succeed. Mama Maki, you won't succeed. You only to Ghana. Go down from Ghana. Each year, leave her to insult herself. The child you practically turned into a slave is today the upcoming queen of Abadana. You should hide your face in shame. Oh. Mama, I can hide your nose in shame. Oh. Go to your house. You will fall from that gather. Talk to me. Say again. I talk, to you me. About, talk to you about what? I can't even do Eh? I know what you why you are say if you want to Okay. One tell I know if you tell I know if you need you. job, you know, sometimes I don't understand you. We were just inside enjoying ourselves. You started dressing up. I said maybe you were in a hurry to go home. We are here now. You are still talking. 
Give for them as Cherry. I just needed you to tell me what exactly you're doing. I mean, what exactly are you doing with me? I don't understand. Are you talking about what we just did or what we've been doing? Boom kain at least you boom dupe. That is what we've been doing. I come here every day. Yeah. And you rush me into your room. You push me into your bed. Is it all of it? I mean, what are we doing? What are you doing with me? Joma, wait. I understand where you are going. I'm not a small boy. Don't make me look like I'm a small boy. Jerry's not a small boy now. Huh? Don't worry. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very tired. You think it's easy to go like four, five, six, 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 I'm very tired. I need to shower, you know, rest, regain my strength. I will relax and explain everything. I will explain, I will explain what we are doing. You know, he's a family man, he's a very really dedicated man. So he's not something you stand up and talk about. Are you sure you're not just trying to avoid the question? Why would I do that? You know, I love you very much. Okay. In fact, my love for you can even make a dead man dress of rage. You know that now. I love you. I've never loved any girl in this world the way I love you. You are just the type of girl I've been looking for in my life. That is why I said, relax. If you want me to just tell you what we are doing, I can just say it. But as Jerry, I'll relax and uh, think about it. When you come, I'll tell you. And you see, you'll enjoy whatever I'll tell you. Okay. Okay. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, enough of it. Just. Go in, get dressed. Because this time around, you're taking me close to my village. <laughs> you think that is a problem? It is not a problem. You are just talking as if I'm not proud of you. You know me now. If you want, I can carry you at my you back. And... No, just go. I can't see you do that. They just tell you. No, you sleep. Uh, let me bring my shirt. In fact, I will see you up to your house. <gasps> go. And your auntie or mother will see me today. <laughs> Mother, I can understand if you asked her not to go near your meals. Fine. But telling her not to use the kitchen is absurd. You know she's the one who cooks the food my father and myself eat in this palace. So if she doesn't go into the kitchen, how would we feed? This is why I said we married a liar and a schemer. How? Are you going to deny you didn't tell her that? Because Collins confirmed that what was reported is the truth. I told her not to use my kitchen in the absence of my cook. And who is a con to be detailed to monitor my wife? Remember, I am the one who pays his salaries in this palace. And I can decide to fire him tonight. No, Nabife, you can't. Aside from being a cook, he's my manager. Especially in this area where all of you are falling victim to a witchcraft. He's the only one I trust. Mother, do you realize you're just one person? What's the meaning of that? You are the only one defending a con. Every other person in this palace is sick and tired of him. How do you think you can impose him on all of us? If you must forget everything, don't forget the fact that I still remain the Queen Mother in this palace. My word is law, don't push me beyond my limits. And if you forget everything, Mother, do not forget that. Despite the fact that you're my mother, I am the Crown Prince of Abadani. And my word is equally law. I want us to define our boundaries in this palace and stick to them. Now, is it? Who has done this to me? What is going on in this house? She's taking this off. She's back with it. Mama, the mom. Pop, see my daughter. <laughs> Come back here. Where are you coming from? I said, come back here and kneel down. Why will I kneel down? What did I do? Why will you hate me? Have you seen the response this useless fool is giving me? Have you seen what this thing you call my daughter is telling me? You should leave me alone. I'm not a slave in this house. Where are you going? Where are you going? I said, come back here. 
Have you seen this thing you call my daughter? Have you seen what she's doing? She's no longer your daughter. She's not my daughter. Please. Look to her, can you can you imagine? What did you do? You're asking me what did I do? What did I not do? Tell me, what did I not do? Don't do something like this. Eh? Why are you searching her bag? What are you looking for? My friends, I am not happy that you confronted her on the issue. Because I sincerely don't have a problem with the others she gave. No, do not say that. Don't say that, my love. Who is going to supervise my wife? He does not supervise me, my prince. He just he just stays there in the kitchen while I do my thing. That's the part I don't get. You are my wife. You have same rights as my mother. Why would she ridicule you by asking Okon to stand there and monitor what you do in the kitchen? I don't have a problem with it. But I do have a problem with it and it has to stop. My prince, please. I'd really like you to rest this matter. Please. Besides, Okon is loving it. He is so excited, he even confided in me that he has learned some new things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My wife is talking like a wife. My mother does not act like a wife. She's playing politics with you. I don't have a problem with it. It's alright. Let's not discuss this. I do not shy away from politics. I will tell her I am a man with authority. Good morning, my prince. Your reign shall be great. Thank you, Kun. But I'm not cut out for all this protocol. I want to ask you some very sincere questions and I would appreciate if you answer me with all sincerity. I'm listening, my prince. Since you started working in this palace, have we denied you anything? Never, my prince. I am happy with my job. That is why when my mother found me a job in Tinapa Hotel Resort, I refused to go. I know you love your job. And I would not want for you to lose this job. What happened, my prince? Have I done anything wrong? Please correct me and I will change immediately. If my wife asks you to leave the kitchen when she's cooking, do not stand there moping at her. I know the queen gave you an instruction to stand and watch her and monitor her when she cooks. But as it stands now, that instruction is null and void. She is my wife, and she has the final decision. It is her responsibility to make the food I eat. If you want to remain in this palace, earn your salary and other fringe benefits. Do as I have said. Disobey me, and you will see me. Why are they making things difficult for me? The queen will say a different thing, and the prince will say something else. What's all this? That's because your cassava filled your own brain has not told you what is right. You need to obey the one that pays your salary. Understand one thing. He's keeping you here simply because he wants to be here. A white one people are known to be very, very intelligent. So use your white one brain and do what is right. And don't tell me to explain for them. One more thing. Fear no one. Especially not you. I've already recommended for your sack. So if you get in the way of that lady that God is leading, you get a sack for him. So don't push it. What's this? What, what, what's going on here? I don't understand. 
Toma. I asked you to kneel down yesterday, but you ran out. You had the infantry to sleep out last night. Where are you coming from right now? What are you turning into? Father, I am a graduate. By October, I shall be going for my, my, my youth service. How does this concern the question I asked you? How does it connect? Father, please. You forced me into an unplanned night vigil last night. And I didn't sleep. I came back to sleep. Why are you keeping me here? Unplanned night vigil? When did you start attending night vigil, you jumped? By the way, which church? Which church did you attend the night vigil? Christ Embassy. Are you satisfied now? Christ Embassy? Ijoma, when did you begin to attend Christ Embassy in this house and I'm not aware of it? Ijoma, when? Oh, Father, this is becoming too much now, eh? Christ Embassy is the fellowship I used to attend since. You forced me out last night. I had to go to, to, for their night vigil. Ijoma. What's the meaning of this? Are you, are you going to beat me because I, I went for night vigil? I opened your box and I found this envelope containing this letter. This letter is a letter your Dean of Studies wrote to you, advising you to withdraw from school. Can you give me explanation to this? Ijoma, give me explanation to this letter. Eh? Hey, Christ Embassy. Father, you, you, you went and searched my box. Ijoma, I said give me explanation to this. Before you get Jehovah's Embassy to now we up for real. Give me explanation for this. Look at it. Give me explanation to this. Easy, easy, easy. Hey! Hey! This one is the original one. All this shape. All this rubbish now that you drink. Eh? What is this? Uh, the things that, 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 that give you the stamina to be flogging these girls endlessly. See, let me tell you, forget about this, you know. I have to warn you because you are my friend. Be very careful. This chap, this rubbish here can damage your kidney. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It does here. No, no, rubbish. Why do you like talking like okay? Okay. No, I've been telling you, you talk like Oki of Ndo Iro. I'm serious. So you looked at me now and I look like somebody who is scared of kidney failure. Ah. I am not scared of kidney failure. Okay. I'm not even scared of dying today. Oh, oh. If I die today, Jerry is dying a happy man. Because Jerry has enjoyed all the things he needs to enjoy in this world. Do you know how many women I have enjoyed? <laughs> now the question is how many have you enjoyed? Yeah. Do you know the best I enjoyed was last night? Huh? <clears throat> Do you know this gear finished me last night? Are you serious? Hmm. This gear came. <laughs> My girl now, that just fell one now. Mm -hmm. One off, one off, uh, one off. It's one off. <laughs> I don't Is even it? know what this girl took last night. Uh, ha. She came home, she would just turn herself 360 degrees on top of me. Uh, she uh, just uh, elevate uh, herself and leave herself. She uh, just land. Uh, wow! I will shout. There is one style she did there. Uh, I, I do not understand this style. Uh, I said I have not seen this one before. See, what's the name of this one? This is I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hey, 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 hey. Huh? This is the kind of story I like. I know. Do you know? Hey. Do you know when she came yesterday? You know she forced to know that time she came. Eh? After doing, eh. I can't even count how many times we did it. I decided to see this girl off. Eh. So I saw her off to the house. I came back now to sleep. Eh. But when I came back, because of the Akonyo hotel, she had me. This girl can come and give me this type of Akonyo hotel. <laughs> so I was just, Shepe, Shepe, I was just Shepe. Playing, though. So the spirit of Ja uh, left my house uh, to their house and caused confusion. So the mother and father started having problems with the girl. Uh, so they drove the girl oh, away. Uh, I was almost asleep when somebody was knocking on my door. Uh, ah. I said, is it this Mpia Mpia Mo and Mpia Mpia Mad going about in the village? I opened it, it was this girl. The same girl? I said, praise the Lord. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. You know, this girl came in. Eh? Hey. Hi. Do you know, throughout last night, 
I did not sleep. Yeah, you mean all night vigil? That was what we did. As I'm talking to you, this guy has drained my brain. Oh no, what's a second? I cannot even spell Obi now. Hey! I lost all my spelling acumen. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of story I like to hear. I know hey? you're useless. Hey. <laughs> No wonder! No. Sissy, I wanted to come to your house last night too. No, no, no. The thing was pushing me, pushing me. And I said, ah, what is this? Eh? Hi. Why is it that this breeze did not bring me to this side last night? Um, Edozie, hey. Edozie, I've warned you. And I don't want to keep on warning you. Eh? I'm talking this rubbish of coming to my house. Stop touching me. Are you mad? What? You started this rubbish again, no? What is it now? What, what is my crime in making you my friend? Why would you allow me to, 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 to enjoy enjoy this life? Is it your life? I'll ban you from coming Don't tell me this! Company. Anytime, anytime it comes to you, I talk to enjoy to, to, to enjoy the thing together. You, 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 you open your That's because there is class difference. There is class difference. The type of girl I bring is not the type of girl you... So leave me with your stupid... Answer your call. Stop disturbing me. <clears throat> um... Hello? Hello? Are you not coming to work? What nonsense work? What nonsense work? Eh? 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 Look at Jerry here. Eh? What does he work? See, he, he, he enjoyed the best of babes here. And you're telling me now, nah, just, 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 just my daughter. Oh, no, 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 Hey, 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 hey. My friend, shut up. Eh? What is the meaning of this rubbish you just said now? Eh, hey, does he? Oh, oh, oh. Give me Jerry now, I can do a piano. Jerry that has six machines mailing money for him every day. Eh? You're here telling me, Jerry, 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 Jerry. My friend, come here. Uh, 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 do we have any serious customers? Huh? Oh, is that what you think? My friend, come here. I have this for you. See, someone from the palace just left our workshop now. And they said they want me and you, Monage, to come and take some measurements. So I want you to leave that useless Jerry there now and come back here. Let us go to that work. Makago. Oko Makago. Ah. Uh. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, I'm coming now. I'm coming. Okay. Stupid, sit down here. Idiot. Okay. What type of useless thing did you just tell your friend? What? Are you spoiling my name now? I, I, I told him. No, no, why are you spoiling my name? No, I told him the truth. Which now. stupid truth did you tell him? <laughs> what you have is grammar. Eh? The only thing I know you have is grammar. That is the only thing that. No, it's not that I don't have grammar. I have, but. Uh, you know, you have this sweet mouth, this sweet mouth that you use in deceiving those girls that, 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 that made you to be flogging them mercilessly. Hey, That's what you hey, have. Hey, are you not a carpenter? Have you seen a carpenter that speaks grammar? Don't worry, don't worry. Eh? I will see you when I Don't come. see me, oh, don't come back here. I don't need you here. I'll be very busy. I'll be very busy by the time you come back. Stupid boy. What type of rubbish is this? Small time now, you come here and rape one of these girls, so. Oh. Rapist. I know why you came to me. They told you that I'm deadly and that I can kill. They are right, but to an extent. Then, why are you shying away from the task? Tell me what to pay and I'll pay. The same girl I use as a slave is now married to the prince of my land and may most likely become the queen. Eh? Rule over me as the women leader. Ha, Obalon. Can we not call Check, I want to cut her down. You don't understand. That girl is only the protection of the crown of Abadani. And the crown protects everybody that lives in the palace. There's nothing I can send from here that will make an impact. What are you trying to say? Eh? That I should allow her to continue rising? Is that what you're telling me? She owes you nothing. She has forgotten all the wickedness you showed on her. She's going to bless you. That is what I don't ever want to hear. Eh? She is caused from that. She cannot bless me. She can bless you. And she's going to bless you. I want her to die. She can never be a blessing to me. I came with some money. Tell me what to pay and consider it paid. I can pay as much as 20,000 Naira. Tata. Okay. Okay. This is palace. Oh. This is. You see this thing? You see this? They are wearing uniform. You, you see that thing? That thing that they are holding? This is called Royal Contrast. Are you sure the person that came told you that we should come to this palace for measurement? Are you okay? 
the same guy that went in now to call the queen for us is the same guy that came to the shop and call us. Why are you asking me nonsense question? You, 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 are, you, are, you, are, you are saying nonsense question. <laughs> I don't know the kind of furniture you and I will manufacture that will impress these people here, these, these people. Because with the look of things, all their things must be imported. And maybe they are tired of using imported things now. Yeah. They now want to be patriotic and start using the things manufactured here in this country. And they did not go to Onicha. They did not go to Oka. Even Benin. Yeah? They, they, they call us. You come and factor. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Stop I, I, this nonsense now. Nah. Okay. Huh? You know. see, see, see. Don't bring bad work into this business. Oh. If you are local, if you are a local man, I am not local. I, 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 I'm telling you, I am telling you, I don't know. I'm saying it now. Nah. Let it not be what I'm thinking. Say it. I'm on video. Uh, uh, Majesty, here they are. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. He, 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 he said you said. No, no, you, you said. Hmm? Right. Yes. Hey, hey, the So, <laughs> Edozi has now become so popular that he's, he's not in the palace. <laughs> I'm a popular person. <laughs> uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Did you know he, he had called me Edozi? She called me Edozi and she knows me. Eh? Eh? Look at me. Very well. mm. Do you not recognize me? <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you. I am glad you know me. You know, I am popular. That's why you know me. Look closely. I, 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 I am talking to you and you're walking away. You're walking out of me. Yeah? Now, Paula. Yeah? Oh, Gilly. Why did you. What is it? Why are you blocking my path? Do I have any business with you? You cannot tell me that you've not seen me before. See, my name is Yenuzia. I am a confirmed troublemaker. See, the highest you can do is uh, to go, 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 go and call police. And they will come and arrest me. And put me in the cell. And, and I will come out again. If I come out, trouble continues. Hey! Oh, oh! What do you want? Yeah! Eh, 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 Just quietly, you know, follow me to that bush, that farm, at the back of that farm there. I've already arranged where it will happen. Follow me quietly and give it to me. You know what I mean? Oh, I will, I will drag by force. Drag it forcefully and take it by force. <laughs> I said this, I said this. Hey, 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 I told you, I can't, I can't, I can't, forgive me. Please, beggar, 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 no talk. Just beggar, no talk. Quiet! <laughs> Your Majesty. Don't be stupid now. Hey. I didn't send for you so I can send you off to jail. I'm not that sort of person. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. 
That is your own. Take it and eat. I must still repeat this protocol each time I come here. Cola is not the problem. Your Majesty, first and first. Umanani Ibu, Kulunade Ibu, Oji Oku. Also, the brother has brought you here will be discussed after the color knot. Okay, I've taken the color knot. Speak to me. Mwende mbo na ndege desi no jia wanyoku. The spirit of our ancestors have been speaking to us through color knot. And that makes color knot bigger than what you look at it to be. I wish you could just go straight to the point to what brought me here. And Cola Knot is not a problem and will never be. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. And I'm not going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit cannot pressurize me. I am going to talk, but I will do that at my own time. This whole thing is like a dream to me. Yeah? She was walking crazy when I met her. What is it that happened to her? That in less than two years, she's not a queen. Yeah? It is good. If I were you, I would not say what. You made an attempt to rip that woman. That is a criminal offense that is supposed to send you to prison. Please, can you help me tell this idiot that I cannot go to jail because I need not to see? Can I have a moment of quietude, please? You two are not supposed to be arguing, oh. especially you. You are supposed to be sober. You are stupid. God bless you. God bless you. This idiot here should be sober. Well, he has refused to be sober. And that's why despite all our daily level, nothing is working out in that office in our life. I your majesty. Five hundred thousand naira <laughs> each. Only by the token of appreciation, as approved by my husband, to show our gratitude to you, mainly to you. Hopefully, you remember the day you almost dragged me into the bush to rape me and how a car almost ran me down. But the driver of that car was the prince. So you see, that race you triggered with all the criminal intentions attached to it landed me here. I spoke to my husband about you and I also told him the role you played and he asked that I bring you here and give you this. Oh, Why did you collect my money? Eh? Did I hear you say your money? Give me my money now. No, 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 no. See, this idiot here has no he, he has no reason. To benefit from this business. We really wanna wanna trigger the move. Business. Shh. What business? No, 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 no. This good woman called us here to bless us. You're just putting your wickedness into it. Imagine your life. To bless us. We really wanna trigger the move. Yeah? Hey, does he? Bless us. Mm -hmm.
Good. Now, there is more where that came from. Convince me that you are now a changed man. And perhaps I can get my husband to give you more. Well, I am changed man. I, 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 I have changed. I, I am now a new man. Laye, laye. Your Majesty, this Jawuda here, Kerimgo, has not changed. This Jawuda, you've not. Am I lying? 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 Which move? Idiot, who she? Criminal. Criminal. Jaguda. Call me Jaguda. Idiot. Criminal. Hey. Where is the good woman? You are a fool. Thank you. You expected her to stay here and watch your display of shame? You are stupid. No, oh, you stupid. Idiot. Quiet! Boy, you was not there. Quiet! Boy food the neighbor. Your Majesty. Before I came, I thought of it several nights and I knew that is something you can do. Why are you not doing it? Yes. I am not doing it because you are begging me of what is beyond my power and mandate. I am simply the chief priest of the land. That's what makes you the spiritual advisor to the king, my husband. Obuefi, I want you to tell the king to annul that marriage. That that maiden will destroy the palace. Are you, are you trying to bribe me or something? No. Don't call it bribe, Obuefi. <laughs> One must be able to feed from the office he occupies. I agree with you, Your Majesty. But now when it includes me lying in the name of the gods. Obuefi, I'll give you 300,000 Naira for you to come and tell the king that that maiden will destroy the palace. I can see that you're not impressed with the amount. Okay, I'll give you half a million. 500,000 Naira. It will go a long way for you to finish this building that has remained like this for years. I want that maiden to leave the palace. Hey! I want to go to the palace. I want to go to the palace. I want to go to the palace. Now listen, even if you give your two kidneys on a platter, I will not ignite the anger of the gods by telling lies against them. It could happen in another land, not in Agbadali. If that maiden is evil, wait and watch. Her evil will fish her out. The ancient port of, of, of Agbadali is now in the palace. Therefore, no evil will survive. Hey! I don't know what actually pushed me to such a loss. And I found this letter. I was stunned by the content of this letter. So, why did you send for me? Um, it's your mama. Please don't be offended. You are the only one of Abadani that works in that university. Please, is the content of this letter real? It's real, but I always mind my business. I kept quiet all this while, being optimistic that one day this moment will come when the truth will prevail because you cannot hide the truth forever. It's your memoir, you are talking as if you know exactly what this letter is talking about, but please tell me. I want to know, please. 
Um, the dean wrote the letter. I also know why the dean wrote it. It was my daughter that you smuggled into the university. It was an empty vessel. And so the dean advised her to leave the university. Hmm? That was um, about three years ago. Three years ago? Three years ago? So she has not been a student for the past three years, but I was paying her school fees. You know, Akasia, we are not the only man in this dilemma. So many families are passing through this, just like we are passing through it. They keep paying the school fees of their daughters and even their sons that are not admitted in any school. She was admitted. Her admission letter was sent to us here. She was admitted. Of course, she was admitted. But when she woefully failed the 16 courses she took in her first semester, the dean advised her to leave because the university is not a place for dollars. Hey! She didn't fit into the system. Hmm. You were aware of all this. Why didn't you tell me? We are brothers. We are brothers, yes. But like I said, I always mind my business. She's an empty vessel. Don't worry, hey. hey. hmm. hey. So don't blame the system. See, Jerry, eh? You see this Edozi, eh? Edozi is so wicked and evil. And I'm going to so deal with him in our union. It, and he will think of committing suicide. It is your father that is wicked and evil. Nam. It is all the members of your family that will commit suicide. Who does this? You, 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 you idiot. You know, see, I was the person that made the move. You understand? Look at this guy, this idiot. I remember that he even, he, he even placed a curse on me when I was trying to rape that girl. Now, the, now that money, money is involved, my question is, why will you touch the money? Why would I touch the money? Eh? See, see, Edozi, I've warned you several times. If you are talking, learn how to control the movement of your hands. What do you like a support child mother? You, would, you won't understand. Eh? No, what nonsense? See, two of you, in fact, you are trying to cause problem to my hypothalamus. Mm -hmm. eh? Say, eh? Yes, now hypothalamus. Are you trying to tell me that it is the same girl two of you connived? To rape, that is sharing money like Obuago of OKTT. Also, them work are not. I am telling you what we experienced today. I'm telling you. Hmm. See, she don't give me half a million. Hey! <laughs> and I have deposited my own in my bank account. Hey! And she only gave me half a million. And this idiot here, this Jagoda, had the ghost to tell her to her face that she would not give me money. What kind of nonsense? Why would I say it? Why you want to make the move? Why would you say it? What? Why are you going to ask you? You want to? Hey, what? What? What of this? What is this? What, what is it now? Was huh? huh? I dying in our the kingdom because because I met a girl? Why can't she leave me alone? You people should tell her to leave me alone, you. What of What are you doing here now? What of is this? Jerry. What are you talking about and who is the girl you're asking to leave you? Look at this idiot! Oh. Look at this stupid idiot! Uh -huh. Who else do you think I'm talking about if not you that cannot leave me alone? <laughs> what is it? What is it? Have I committed any crime in knowing you? <laughs> Have I committed any crime in asking you out? <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Let me ask you, sir. When I met you, were you a virgin? Hey, hey! A cuckoo, a cuckoo. Were you a virgin? A cuckoo. No, I'm asking you. Answer me now. You are not a virgin. Oh, oh, oh. Then why do you want to crucify yourself around me? Am I the only person in our land that has pointed nose? Am I? What is it? Jerry. What is it? Leave me alone. Is it me you're talking to? See, you're just stupid, though. Let me tell you. Let me even tell you, Joma. You are the cheapest girl I've met in my life. Ah, hey. you? Ah, go, go, go. Hey! Ah! Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything to you. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm just trying to sort you out. What type of girl are you? Get on memory. You've never resisted me. Ekudu. As a girl that was trained very well, you don't have elasticity. Hey! You have lost elasticity. Once I take you to the bed and put you to the bed, you open your Bermuda Triangle. Hey! You, eh? you, 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 you open it. Look at these two, 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 two boys. Hey, hey, hey. The innocent girls, they try 
to rape is now the person sharing money to them. And we are here causing problems to my life. Don't get away from here. 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 Point of correction. Point of correction. Before she leaves with the impression that I'm a, I'm a rapist. Jerry is wrong to say that we planned to rape. I am not a rapist. I have not done that before and I can never be a rapist. Hey, those days, the only rapist I know. If you don't leave now, he may rape you too. You are idiot! Seeing the chip as you are. Jerry has said it, that you are cheap. Go, go, go! <laughs> go, just go! <laughs> Nonsense! Jerry, are you this heartless? Eh? No, see, see, hold it there. What is it now? What is it? Okay, what, what is it now? What is it? Oh, 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 it? Why are you questioning my pattern now? You have your own pattern. Jerry has his own pattern. Just be do your own pattern. Leave my own pattern. Okay, okay, okay. One okay. Day, okay. Huh? Look at this stupid girl that has got her in between her legs. Oh no, as I said, trying to lure me to marry her. Do you know she was actually asking me the plans I have for her? That is what she was asking me. Am I so stupid to, to, to start off settling down with a wacko? Huh? Oh. Melody with pie. With pie. Mm -hmm. it's that is melody with pie. Okay, with pie, not meat pie. With pie, not meat pie. Shut up, boy. You don't hear me. You'll be chatting here. Myself and you know that. Instead, what I have chosen to do is resign myself to fate. <laughs> so remain in your university. Stay there and build your class with your poor results. While I wait and pray on my God to remember me. <laughs> I know he will remember me. He will indeed remember you. Oh my God. She was right. God finally remembered her. I am the one who has been fooling around. When did you join me? I can't understand your majesty. Which people did I join? That witch is cooking in my kitchen as we speak. I went in there and saw her cooking. Where were you? The other from the prince was very strict, your majesty. He said I must free his wife to so use the kitchen freely or he will not transform my son. My son said that to you? I cannot stand before you and lie, Your Majesty. He said I'm only allowed to cook simply for you and in occasions or when we have a large number of visitors to the palace. I'm losing grip of everything. My own son counters my instruction in this house. But, speaking sincerely, Your Majesty, the woman is good. To the fact that she was trained by the masters. May God punish that your man for saying this in my presence. Get out of here, you fool! You to your majesty. Madame Kole is here to see you. Who is your Madame Kole? The same woman that wanted to destroy our new queen. Now refusing her going to the university and turning her into a hawker. Ah, oh, please spare me those useless details. What does she want? She didn't tell me. But she said she wants to see you. Listening to her and watching her countenance, I think she still hate that new queen. Should I still let her in? Oh, 
My lord of Whitby, I know you very well. For you to have come back here asking for the same room you rejected means you've made a decision for me. Tell me, what decision have you made? And who told you that I'll be the one to stay in the room? Are you not the person staying in the room? If you're not the person staying in the room, so, so who are you trying to put in the room? Well, I'm getting that room for a out broadcasting technician. So the technician you are talking about is the person a man or a lady? Come on, Jerry. Don't be ridiculous. How can a lady be a technician? Well, I'm talking about a man who works directly under me. Hi. Melody, if not that Jerry is a gentleman, I would have slapped the living hell out of you. What is wrong with you now? What is it? How can you be telling me this bullshit now? Are you for real? Yes, I'm for real. Me? Melody Whitby, of all people, you think you could slap me? Why would I slap you? Are you unslappable? No, I'm asking you now. Are you unslappable? You just, you just looked at me from head to foot, and, 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 and you're, you're telling me you want to bring a, a man to stay with me. Do I look like gay? Do I look like a homo homosexual? A homo? homo? Oh, 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 Jerry. <laughs> so you're actually looking for a woman you could marry cheaply, right? What makes you think you could succeed with me? They're not dead. What is it? What? Oh, Ijo, Ijo, man, what is it? Ijo, man, what is it? Jerry. What is it now? Jerry, I need my See, money. And I'm not leaving here today without my money. So, I don't know what she's talking about. Though. <laughs> please, what money are you talking about? Mm, please, I am sorry for the embarrassment, okay? But you see this guy? I am going to sort him out. Why are you sorting me out? Give me my money! Give me my money! Jerry, Give me my money! I don't know what she's talking about. Jerry! Your stupidity is revealing the more each day. My dear, stuff him out and collect your money before going. Mm -hmm. See, wait to. Please. Wait, come and be the Please. umpire here. Come, come and be the umpire. Give me my money. Give me my money. Are you embarrassing me now? What money are you talking about? What do you mean by what, what, what am I embarrassing You're embarrassing me now. Repeat what you just said. You hate her so much. But yours is not anything near to the hatred I have for her. I know so because I have been making inquiries. So how do you want us to work together? Hmm. I win. That girl is the cat with nine lives. Merely dissolving the marriage and sending her out of the palace will be of no use. She will always come back and your sorrows will be multiplied. You see, my dear, I sent everyone out of this house so that we can talk confidentially. But you know that my husband or my son might walk in unannounced. So go straight to the point. My way. If you are not a warrior, you may have some difficulties doing what I am going to tell you. Say it first. You never can tell what I will do. This is a gift given to me by Gliba to Gapo. Let this thing alone. What is it? Jerry, Jerry, is it what is same girl that was giving me the style of Akonye Wetel? Ah, so what? Because you gave me the style of Akonye Wetel, will I die for you? Will I die for you? What is it? Tell her to leave me now. Jerry, 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 you should fall my hand. You're falling my hand. Settle this small problem now before it becomes too easy. Okay? You are a madman. How? What is your problem? I told you, I'm not only this girl, the dude of this girl, one naira. This girl is food, this girl is a young guy. What is a young guy? I'm very, very, very stupid. You are very, very, very foolish. Get away. 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 I did not do anything, no. You saw what happened. I just pushed him. Don't do it, don't do it. I didn't say anything. Oh, you pushed Jerry for just using you and dumping you. Hey! 
You've just killed Jerry. No, 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 he's not there. Just wake him up. Are you here telling us he didn't do anything? No, 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 no. Hey, tell me. I didn't do it. Tell me. I didn't do it. One thing about me is that I believe in fair play. Peace is very important in every land. And here in Abadan, we are very lucky that we are peaceful. So go back to the town union secretariat and announce to the people that I, as a Nathaniel Lolo Nyolibia, agree with their proposal. <laughs> Ndubani, has it not happened before you all? I always tell us that we have a little who understands the plight of his people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Your Majesty, yes. I have heard so much about how good you are. But this is the very first time I am getting close to you in discussion on something that concerns Kingdom Revenue. And so far, Your Majesty, I am not disappointed at all. I am marveled at your humility, your leadership and sense of direction. Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, on that note, I want to submit that you are going to reign forever, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> and your son here, Nabife, who has been functioning as barrister at law for the town union, he will reign after you, Your Majesty. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, G. Your Highness, now that uh, our proposal has received your royal blessing, I suggest we retire back to our secretariat and tidy the papers and present. Good. Yeah. Um, my son is already working with the town union as an attorney. Work closely with him. When the papers are ready and tidied up, bring them to me and I will endorse them all. What am I saying? Oh my goodness. Akidi, yes. this is what I want to eat. Um, wow. Your Highness, this is, this is mine. Yours is right here. Yes, I know, my princess. You see, um, uh, you can um, have the royal dish. Let me eat this one. I have not eaten Akidi in years. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> my son will eat that one when he joins us. <laughs> Please, don't permit me to eat your Akidi if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> I can see my son is confused. <laughs> Our wife. That was just giving me a kitty. The best food a man can think of having. <laughs> mm. You can have your royal dish.
chest. Your chest. Oh! My chest. Call him! Father, take some water. Father, what's wrong? I just got a call from the police station and they confirmed to me that your daughter murdered her boyfriend. As I'm talking to you now, she has been arrested and she is in police custody. What kind of stupid talk is this? Who is her boyfriend that she murdered? Gang wolf number one. The second page is this. The letter I found in her box. I confronted your useless daughter with that letter. But she could not defend herself. I had to invite Ichi Omema, whom you know works in that same university she attends. Do you know what Ichi Omema told me? That your useless daughter was rusticated out of that school since three years ago and she has been collecting money from you and I, from me, in the name of paying school fees. Listen, let me ask you. Where in this world have I wronged you that that your useless daughter turned me into a police? Please save me from all this useless information. Ah uh ah, -uh, save me. Do, do you happen to know the police station where she's being held? Uh -huh. Hey, Jiffy Abang, thank God you know that you are the one that will go to that police station because I, Ilua Kasia, will not move an inch towards death. Which police station? Uh -huh. I beg you, which police station? Okay, listen. The police station is area 14. If they allow you to bail her, that is your own business. As at now, what I am thinking is the way forward. Taking a new wife. Kid, I will give me a good child. Good children. Huh? What did I hear you say? What you had is the correct thing. You had me saying exactly what I'm already planning. You are a combination of all the evil in this whole world. Okay, from what you see, we will end up there. That is what you are. That's what I got. Hello, Hello. You can look. Don't touch. I understand this is what the king was eating before he collapsed. What kind of food is this? This is Akele. It delicates in Igbo land. So nutritious. Better than all those fats you've been feeding us with. A delicacy in Igbo land? Yes. A delicacy in Igbo land and the king will eat and collapse after eating? Please. Give me a break. Oko, what are you trying to prove? That you are intelligent or smart in reasoning? Don't provoke me beyond the level I can take. Otherwise, you see the other side of me. Idiot. Since 30 years, I married my husband and father. He has never been sick. I will marry a useless schema. And my husband is not in this hospital. Hey! Calm down, calm down. The doctor said we should wait here while they handle this emergency. Just calm down, everything will be okay. How's he? How is my husband? We did our best. We arrived in the new record. We brought him down here, rushed him down to the diagnostic center mm -hmm. to find out what happened to him. Okay, so what, 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 what did you diagnose? Yeah. What happened to him? He was poisoned. Poisoned with an unknown poisonous substance that destroyed his internal organs. Poison. Poison. How? By who? Your mom. Please control your mom, your wife, and those people out there. See, these internal organs were completely destroyed beyond what medical science could handle. 
So, so what do we do? Uh, where is he? Can, 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 can he be flown abroad or something? We lost him. Eh? You. Yes, we, we lost him. How? You. What? Saying that the girl killed the king, I don't understand what she did by that. What? Maybe you should call her back. Call her back and get her to explain what she meant. I don't understand this drama. What's going on? The report is that he was poisoned. You were the one that prepared the last meal that he ate. Can you now tell the elders in council that you were not the one that murdered the king? What he ate was the activity that I prepared for myself. Which I was eating before I realized his food was getting cold and I came here to call him. On getting to the dining table, he saw the akiri I was eating and he, he requested that I let him have it. In his words, he had not eaten akiri in years. Who am I to say no to the king? You're a liar. This girl poisoned my husband. My noble husband that has married me for 30 good years was murdered by this girl here. Have you seen what it cost? I found you a decent girl for you to marry. You rejected her and married this low class into this house. And now she has rendered you fatherless. Woman, what we are doing here is a spiritual exercise. Mm. And that is why we have not invited the police into this matter. Stop interfering in the process, please. Open it. Is this the same food you prepared? Yes. Yes, it is. And this is the food the king was eating before he collapsed and was confirmed as having been poisoned. I don't really know what happened. It all happened before my husband here. Well. Okay. Hold it. Look at me, eyeball to eyeball. I swear that you were not the one that poisoned the plate of our kid. Swear, swear, and not swear. swear. Elders in council. I hope you are here with me. Yes. Okay. There's only one way out of this uh, forest of constellation. Give me that. Now eat this food. If nothing happens to you after eating this food, we will be overwhelmingly convinced that the king was poisoned from another source and not from your plate of our kid. Eat it. Mm -hmm. Eat this! It's some food you cooked. Papa will see it. Eat! A lot of things are happening in this palace. There are hurdles set before me. I don't even know where I have gone wrong. 
but I will not eat this arcade. Have I not been vindicated? My friend. She killed my husband. I didn't kill him. If we invite the police into this matter, they will call for an autopsy. And an autopsy will open the remains of our king when subjected to medical examination. And that will tantamount to the secretion of the remains of the man that was once the custodian of our custom and tradition. That will be an abomination that will destroy Abadali. So, what do we do now? A very pertinent question, my prince. The woman that murdered the king must proceed on banishment. Yes, yes. And never to be seen anywhere around Abadani as we lower the king in the next three days. And then they find the way forward for our kingdom. Yes. 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 And I what are you still doing in this battle? Leave this place! Now! Leave this moment! You know the gravity of your face you committed? Take her out! Leave! Do you think we are playing here or what? Why did you stop? I have a small pendant that I own. It was given to me by my mother. And it is my most prized possession. Can I please go? Nonsense! That request is not granted. You are not to enter this palace again. Yes. Now proceed to any land that welcomes you. Now get this into your head where you will always remember. Any day you are seen anywhere in Abadani, you will be stoned to death. Now, move. Move! Move! I say move. Move straight. We're not joking. Move. If it is possible, evaporate. Move! The 17th day of November is indeed the saddest day of my life. I lost my father. Now my wife who should console me has been banished. Where did I go wrong? You didn't go wrong anywhere, my son. You didn't go wrong, my prince. The witch that came to separate us is gone. As the true member said, we will define the way forward. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. My instincts never failed me. 
My mind tells me she did not poison that food. I am not certain about anything, but posterity will be the church. Does it mean that the leftover aura of her witchcraft is stronger than the original? Why is this thing misbehaving? Even now that she is gone. devastated as you are. I did what I did because I believed you were in love. It never occurred to me that it would result in this. From the very first day I set my eyes on that maiden, I knew what she represented. But the problem with me is that I elected to use diplomacy if I knew that she was capable of administering poison, oh God, I would have thrown her out of this house a long time ago. You see, you, you cannot blame yourself. After all, you are not God. I saw her as a young woman that was being denied of her right. So I decided to help her. I never knew I was brewing a demon. Thank God, someone else has seen the evil in that girl. But my son still thinks uh, about that demon that killed his father. I don't know what she must have given my son. I don't know. Mm. I win. I believe he loves that girl. I can attest to that. But very soon, he will get rid of that. He must get over it. I pray. Yeah. I really pray so. to stop her. You couldn't have stopped her. No. Such, such, such intervention would have made the elders to believe that you connived with her to kill the king, your father. And that is not good for you. Do you actually think she killed the king? I have no doubt, my prince. Everything is so clear and overwhelming. This is ridiculous, Collins. She has no reason to kill the king. That is what you think. That's not what I think. I think she has every reason to kill the king. She believes that someday that your mother will convince your father to chase her out of the palace. And to stop that, she has to kill your father. To weaken your mother. I don't believe that. If she's capable of poisoning anyone, I should have poisoned my mother who has shown her so much hatred. Ah. Why, Prince? You're not thinking. Think. She couldn't have killed your mother because your mother saw it coming. 
She blocked every access of her killing her. She stopped her from giving her what she eats. The only person she has access to was your father. The one that loves her. The more reason I'm beginning to believe your mother that she has a link with witchcraft. You know what they say about witches? They get to harm the people that love them the most. I can't believe it. I can't believe you allow them brainwash you like this. Come on, you look at them. He's the officer in you. Why are you sounding as if you don't understand what I said? The cross examination was handled by an experienced elder right in front of me. The same food she served the king was given to her to eat, but she refused. Would you have eaten the food if you were in her position? Why wouldn't she eat the food? If she was sure she didn't poison the food, she would have eaten it. Listen, my dear. Anyone who is surrounded by enemies must learn to guard his or her life with extreme care. That man has got compromised. And by refusing to eat the food that killed the king, I took it to her that she acted wisely. <laughs> wisely? When she has been banished from the land, can you say it like this? Banished. Banished, you said. That means she is still alive. It's better to be alive than eat the food, the compromised food that killed the king to prove a point and die in the process. One has to be alive to stage a comeback. Stage a comeback? Mm -hmm. Do you think you could stage a comeback? <laughs> I don't know what I think. Well. But that girl that lived with me for one year she cannot poison anyone. We heard of the tragedy that befell the palace. Mm -hmm. And we came here to console you. I'm consoled already. But I'm very happy that you're here. Linda, I'm happy to have you here. You know that my son must be married before he's crowned the king. And now that that demon that he found for himself has proven how evil she is. My son must marry you now. Awesome! Didn't you hear what she just said, Linda? Why are you not smiling? I heard her, mother. But sincerely, I am no longer interested. Did I hear you right? I am serious, Your Majesty. I followed up with everything that happened in the palace, and my interest evaporated. I have a man now from Enugupu, and I'm going to marry him. I prefer to be married to a man from Enugupu and be a free woman than to be married into royalty and be in bondage. Why is your daughter sounding like this? Why is she voicing the unthinkable? Please, Your Majesty, allow me to handle this. She's only a child. And you must expect her to exhibit some form of youthful exuberance and bad judgment. Please. Yeah, who is that coming? Consult with the royal household. Thank you. You don't know how much I appreciate what you just did. I will never forget this. I am happy you've overcome what happened. Yeah, we shall bury him tomorrow. And in line with the words of Obuifia Malinze, we will define the way forward for the land. I hope the definition has nothing to do with me. Because I already told the Queen, 
When she raised the topic, I'm no longer interested. She raised the topic. What topic is that? Topic of me becoming your wife. I have a man from Enugu that wants to make me his wife. And I am not going to disappoint him. I have come to tell you, so you don't hear it from the Queen and feel very slighted. I honestly don't know what to say. Yes. But I, I don't understand how the untimely death of our king has become beneficial to the elders in council. I don't understand it. Ichi also, before this meeting, I had another meeting with Ichi Ogonapa and Ichi Okeke here. And we are thinking that we have an opportunity to change the royalty of our kingdom from the Oloye, Oloye Yes! Yes! I don't understand why anybody will come up with that kind of scheme. Is she a member? Prince Nabife is now a lawyer, barrister at law, mm -hmm. who has been functioning as lawyer to the town union, and he has been doing remarkably well. I don't know that. Yes. As we speak, business is booming and the kingdom revenue is flowing. Mm -hmm. Why must we think of shooting ourselves in the leg by changing royalty from that lineage? <laughs> it will backfire. It is. Mm -hmm. We are not the ones that will change it. Because nature itself has changed it. Oh. We are going to bury our king tomorrow. And crown a man that has a wife. Nabuife has no wife. On point, boy. It's your mama. You see, we cannot sustain this conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Because this will cause a serious problem in this community. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, then, my dear, a a a a don't defend anybody, please. <laughs> we need a change in this community. Yes, we need a change. Ah, let me, let me, let me just make something clear, please. Let us not waste time in this meeting because I think I know where we are, where we are going. The problem here now is that Prince Nabife has no wife, right? Yes. yes. That's why we are planning to change reality. Yes. yes. No problem. I want us to leave our phones open. Hmm? Before hmm. dusk, I will call off you. What do you want to achieve by that? Until I call you. Ah. Well, what, once I call you, please make yourself available. <laughs> but one thing that I want to make you understand now is before tomorrow, Prince Nabifa, we have a wife. That's what I see. We will like to have you there. Is it possible? Who is you the politician? I don't know why you're so concerned about this marriage. I thought you're the one getting married. We are here to bury my father and you're ready going to make money proposal to make it on my behalf. What kind of reckless is this, mother? You don't understand kingdom politics. What kingdom politics and what has it got to do with this? Once they blow your father tomorrow, another will be crowned. This who? What are they going to crown? Someone who has a wife. And don't argue with me when it comes to royalty because I've been in this thing for 30 good years. Get married and stand a chance. I cannot not have Yeah, yeah uh, please, uh, President Abifa, tell me the maiden you like most in this kingdom, and we are going to marry her for you this night. If you don't have anybody in mind, tell me also, and I'm going to arrange one wife for you. Oh, you think that is not up to what I can do? Because you must marry this night. What kind of object is this? How can I get married this night? Because that is the only way you can retain the crown. Some powerful elders in this kingdom are already scheming to terminate reality from your lineage. Because they said you have no wife. I want you to tell me the name of the maiden you like most. We must marry her this night. That is the only way you can retain the crown. I want to show them that I am a deadly politician. That I am the man that is behind the mask. You have any name? Can I call you back? Why not? You can call me back. Uh, but in the meantime, I, I, I am here with uh, Ishii Okoro, who will 
bring the secretary into this. The secretary must come here this, this evening because this night is going to be very busy. You must have a wife now, Bania. You are having it. Okay, thank you. My regards to the secretary. Tell him I'll call you soon. Yes, waiting for your call. Very important. I understand what you mean that you have already programmed yourself for something else this night. I can excuse you from this. But please, try and send word to the secretary. Let him understand the importance of this mission. He must meet me here this evening. You can see how urgent this thing is. I'll do that. Please, I'll do that. Let him understand. Confide in me, I'll do that for you. For the camper. They are on the What time do you want? What time do you for Ichiozo to show this level of agitation means this is a serious issue. Mm. The problem is I don't have any maiden in mind. Says who? That Linda is no longer available does not mean you don't have another. Amaka is there. She's available. We can marry her. The fruit salad, my friends. Thank you, Amaka. You're welcome. I'm sorry, Amaka. Please come back. Yes, my friends. There is something going on around here and I don't like it. Something going on where? Thanks for the salad. Don't bother about the plate, I'll handle it. Good night. Good... Good night, my prince. Good night. That's not possible. The same Amaka with no character? The same Amaka that tried to seduce me in this palace? Why must she be the one? Because I trust her. The devil you know is better than the angel you know nothing about. Not just this girl, mother, not this one. Amaka is bereft of manners. Leave that angle for me, son. When she finally becomes your wife, I'll teach her these manners. Trust me. Hmm? It's okay. What was going through your mind that night you tried to seduce me? My prince, you make me shy whenever you ask me that. I was only trying to impress the one that means the world to me. I still find this hard to believe. How can we even get married at night? There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. The same time we refer to as night here is day in the US. They are getting married and God is still blessing them, for he is the same God. <laughs> wow. Look at our Macau. <laughs> I never knew you were this intelligent. Well, the earlier you start seeing me as Amaka, your wife, and not Amaka, the maid, the better for us. Ah. Sam, the elders are here. I can see that both of you are getting on well. Abaka here was just explaining to me the reason as to which we could get married at night and sincerely I marveled. I never knew she was this intelligent. Mm. That has always been the problem I had with it. Because she always looked down my judgment and that's not fair. Amaka here is a girl that will give birth to the son. That will be accorded the glamorous respect of the gun salute and the sound of Ikolo. And not that riffraff you brought her as a wife. Mom, please. I'm sorry, but we can't do without bringing up your mind to this. Forget everything that's happened. She's still my wife. Please, can I take you to the elders? You know that as I'll be burying your father tomorrow, I won't be able to go out this night. Better. Because you will go there and spoil things for me. Tell them I'm right behind you. Your husband is calling me a troublemaker. Make him understand that I'm a perfect judge. And a wonderful mother. I will tell them that you're coming. And she is a perfect judge. Mm. Yes, I'm a testimony to that. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! 
Idiot. Please see. Let me be sincere with you. I can swear on my life that there's conspiracy somewhere. Uh -huh. Yes. See, that many that forgave us, called us and gave us money, can no more than anyone. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Not possible. Yeah. I don't say I believe the same too. But the elders are insisting that the evidence against her was of a woman. Why was she not willing to eat the same food she served? That's just my problem. Forget about the evidence against her. Yeah? Uh -huh. Do you still remember the woman in question? Oh, I, I can still see her innocent face the day she threw, she threw her pan of grace on me and ran into prison. That man, he cannot kill a fly. He cannot hold a fly. Hold on. Bam. Had, had it been I got her number that day, that very day, eh? uh, 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 I would have called her now to know her whereabouts. Huh? Eh? Oh, I don't know what about Ford. Huh? Ford? Tomorrow, of course. You idiot. So is it because I've been cutting a, a wood with you? Don't you know as I will make a good husband to that good woman that has a good heart? Hey, you uh, idiot. You have to help. Hey! Take it out. Take it out. How dare you? How dare you? Hmm? How dare you? Oh, okay, I'm going to put it on the phone. Uh -huh. uh, no, no, no. So, okay. Oh, I'll go. How can you be looking for a, a, a woman that you will marry? And you have the guts to remember someone that I have already found for myself. And I'm going to get a little bit of a Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of 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 I have a man now from Enugoku and I'm going to marry him. I prefer to be married to a man from Enugoku and be a free woman than to be married into royalty and be in bondage. What came over this girl? What came over my daughter? Mother, I don't know why you have called me here, but all I want to do is sleep. If it has anything to do with the palace, I don't want to discuss it. Linda, what is the problem with you? How could you reject this offer to become the queen of Apatano? How? He made his choice, and I moved on with my life. I have a man of Enugugu that wants to marry me. An established contractor, and I am not going to disappoint him because of the unfounded scandal that broke in the palace. Lequeur, unfounded scandal? What do you mean by unfounded scandal? The unfounded scandal in the sense that I don't believe that girl poisoned the king. Oh, please! How could you argue on something that happened before everybody? Why would you defend someone who was not even able to defend herself? How are you sure she was even given the chance to defend herself? Mother, I don't want to go into all of this. Whosoever the prince chooses to marry, I support him. You are mad. Okay? You are mad. I'm not going to say anything to you until I see that so-called contractor from Enugoku. Even as Mrs. Ohamadike, wife of Chief Ohamadike, of all people, you are behaving like this because someone from a rich family rejected your daughter. I wonder what you would have done if you had been married to a poor man. Listen to me. Money is one thing. Contact and connection is another. And that is the point you're missing. I will not spend eternity educating you on that. Excuse me. Prince is the last man on earth. I choose to remain single.
Nous voyons une queen. Queen. Où est queen? We all know that tomorrow will be so hectic for us. I also believe that we know why we are here gathered. Therefore, I want us to go straight to the point. Makarande ba is no 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 kukeji ni mo nyau. You don't need to say it again. Amaka is the lucky one, and we are here to marry her this night. That is why we are here. Why is he living like that? Mimi. Hold. Hold. Are you sure what you're saying? Call them now. You hear their voice. Call them. Who's that? Hello. 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 My name is Nabife. The phone you're holding belongs to my wife. She has been missing. Please, where did you find it? We are hunters. We found it in the bush. Where we went to hunt for uh, grass cutters. The bush. Which bush? The man asked me where we picked the food. Tell the man now. Uh, yes, now tell him. Hello? Like how much are you going to pay us? I will pay anything, anything. I am willing to pay anything. I am a prince. The heir apparent to the throne of Abadan the kingdom. And that phone belongs to the princess of Abadan the kingdom. She has been missing. And any information on her would be very, very useful. Please, where are you guys? Hello? 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 It has gone off. Hey. Call them back, call them back. That's the only hope we have. Oh, not again. This has gone off. Oh. It's gone off. Hi. Hi. What's up now? Why are you off the phone? You know how we'll make money from this opportunity. This is not opportunity. This is trap. Trap. It was the prince of Akbadan that called me. This phone belonged to his wife who has gone missing. Are you not seeing it, uh, trouble? If greed for money makes us show our face, we shall die in jail. You mean this phone belongs to the wife of Prince of Abadan? Abadan. And he got missing. How comes this phone take and bush? That's why I off the phone. Tomorrow, we shall simply go to Bekoka and say this phone. Whatever we make. We share it. Simple. Guy, 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 guy. No be, no be inside the thing, the thing now. This phone number will go through them. We go lost them. Karan go back down. We try and say that. See, if you want to avoid Satan. Satan! Satan, if you want this phone. Avoid it. See, we go through this phone. We go through this phone. We go through this phone. You have fulfilled all the traditional requirements to have this woman as your wife. Standing before the moon, I, Ogwe the traditional head of the Ubiako family, give you this, our daughter, Amaka, as your wife. <laughs> You see, I needed to prove to them that I am deadly when it comes to politics. Now, I want to see that hurdle that will prevent us from putting the crown on his head tomorrow. Why you doing Okay. <laughs> 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 My 
What is the problem, my king? You can't continue like this. You don't seem to understand what I'm facing. Amaka, you are my wife now. And in all fairness to you, you are doing your best. Why then are you endlessly complaining? I am and will always be here for you. See, my king. You are a king today. And people look up to you for direction and leadership. You have to be strong. It's not that easy. She was my wife. She was the love of my life. Do you know what it feels like to wake up each morning with the thoughts that she has been devoured by wild animals? But my king, Collins has told you countless times in my presence. I mean, we are not even sure that she has been devoured by wild animals. Disregard whatever Collins says. He has his own opinion about Obioma. Look at this objectively. What was her phone doing in the forest? These hunters you say you spoke to on her phone, did they confirm to you that they saw anything that suggests that she has been torn into shred by wild animals? It was all my fault. They asked me what I could pay. They demanded money. I would have told them a million naira or anything. No amount is too much for information on my wife. I didn't make them any promise. I didn't say anything. Instead, I went on about how I was a prince and how I could pay anything. They caught the phone on me and that was the last time the phone rang. You will be fine. But please, you need to overcome this. You can show me overcome. My king! My king! The match has started. Arsenal is winning Chelsea. What have I done? I just came to tell you that the match has started. Do you have any sympathy for Chelsea? you come here telling me about football. I'm mourning my wife. I'm sorry, my king. Obefi de Lebona, you are the chief priest of this land. And I expect you to be bothered on the calamities happening in this land. Why are you not bothered? Can you stand before any deity to swear that I'm not bothered? I, I can swear with urgency. I am the one that is bothered, and that is why I have gone to Enugu to consult with Dondi Owa, the SDB of Enugu, and those of Uchangula for more. On the way forward, concerning the calamities happening in our land. And what did he tell you? He referred me back to you. Let me repeat his exact words. Why are you in the abode of Ozo Oshambolo? Making inquiries on what is happening in Abadani when the chief priest of Abadani is still alive. Yes. Those were his exact words. And what could you make from the great words of such great man? Very simple. What I make is that you have a role to play in all this. I am surprised that you are not playing the roles. I came here simply to ask you, Obwefi, please, play those roles. Then you may have to return to Ozog Bushangula and explain to him the reason why you have to banish a woman on the allegations of murder without seeking the opinion of the chief priest. I, 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 I don't understand what you mean by allegations of murder. Obefi, they were not mere allegations. For she refused to eat the very food she served the king. That could only mean one thing, Obefi. She actually poisoned the food. How dare you, Emiya Mundane, stand here or sit here to dictate for the gods? Have you come here to tell me what you know or to listen to me? Hey! Huh? Now leave. Huh? Leave! On an underform way. Now! Leave!
Why do I have this feeling that elders in council do not want to cooperate with me? That is wrong, Your Majesty, and you know it. You are our king, who has been very wonderful, like the father. Very wonderful. Yes. We are ever ready to cooperate with you. Then why do you find it difficult to believe me? This is exactly one year I lost my former wife. I believe all the calamities happening to us are as a result of the fact that we all have refused to give her a befitting burial. <laughs> her spirit is what is disturbing us. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, with all due respect, I will not be part of a council that will make a terrible mistake. Please. Your Majesty, we made you king. And so far, you are doing wonderfully well as our king. You cannot cajole us into organizing a defeating burial for a woman that we cannot confirm authoritatively that she has died. Baron, why do you think we're meant to be? We cannot. You don't seem to get it, Ikeozo. The hunters I called before the phone went dead and off confirmed that they picked the phone in the forest where the wild animals devoured her. Let us give her a befitting burial. That's my point. No, Your Majesty. I have to come in now because you are pressing to have your way. It cannot happen. That was a woman that was banished justly because of murder. She left in our presence to serve her banishment. Even if we are 100% sure that she died while serving her banishment. We, the people of Abadan, cannot discredit our land by giving her big thing burial. No, they are not. Are they here, man? Are they here, man? I hear rough with you, man, and I'm here, man. Oh! Okay. 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 Is this some kind of joke or what? If there is nothing wrong with him medically, like you said, why then did he collapse? Yeah. And why is he on life support? Well, we have removed all life support issues on him. Because the solution to his problem is not here. Hey, doctor, you are confusing us. Ha. If the solution to the problem of a sick man is not here in the hospital, where then is the solution? Ask him. Where? See? Let, 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 hold on, because I have this feeling that you have difficulty in communicating. If money is a problem that you don't know how to tell us that we are going to pay, please come out clear and tell us how much. We, the elders of Abadan, we are capable of paying. Is there a way you can communicate to this doctor, doctor that money is not our problem? Doctor, money is never the problem. Please, tell us what we want to pay. Yes. You see, this case is more cultural. America. No. Uh, we have diagnosed him completely. And found that was not wrong with him. Even ordinary malaria. He could not attend anything. And he collapsed? Yes. But as I suggest, you take your king back to the palace and seek for the solution from within. Ichi also. It still sounds like a jigsaw puzzle to me, in the sense that if we take the king back to the palace, our people may rise up against us, eh? thinking that we brought the king back to the palace to die. But that, that is exactly what they will say. But you can't continue keeping him here. We have diagnosed him and we found nothing. We can't administer any treatment on him. Medically, he's okay. I haven't reconciled what the chief priest said with that of the doctor. I am beginning to feel that we must have ignited the anger of the gods. So are you saying we should do what the king already suggested? I think uh, what did they suggest? That the problem we are facing now in this kingdom is because we have refused to give his devout wife a befitting barrier. In fact, he was very blunt when he said that the spirit of his devout wife is what is disturbing us. So I think the, the befitting barrier may actually be the way forward. <laughs> Don't tell me you are even giving that a second thought. There's no way we can give a befitting barrier. 
to a banished woman. Is it possible? Ah, ah, Chief of Myanmar. You see, if giving the woman a befitting burial will save the situation, let's do it. Or better still, let people go back to the chief priest and press him. Press him. He's already angry with us. He spoke to me harshly for banishing the woman without consulting him. I've even lost the face to go back to him. Um, you see, your mama, I, 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 I want us to understand something. You weren't the only one that he spoke to. He spoke to me too. Oh. I also went to him, he spoke to me harshly. Okay. But if you look closely, you will see there is sense in what Ishe Kuroya is saying. This man with the name border is our priest. He is the one that's supposed to be guided off. So that he's angry it makes no sense. We have to go to him and press him to solve the problem because somehow I believe he has a solution to this problem. Mm -hmm. You have a point. Yes. If you continue asking, continue asking, continue asking. Yes. yes. You're right. What are we going to call this one now? What is this one? It's a wine, it's a wine. I don't even know what to say. I don't understand all this. Are you sure you don't have a hand in this? Queen Mother! How, how can you say that? How can I have a hand in the problem troubling my husband? Oh, who have you done one? The chief priest of Abadan. We salute you. I agree to all you. <coughs> On behalf of all of us that committed the blunder of banishing the devout woman without consulting you, I apologize to you. Obuefu mm. Denebona, the chief priest of Abadani. Please forgive us and guide us. Mm. Your Obuefi. Before our king collapsed, he was trying to convince us that the problem facing our land is because his devout wife has not been given befitting burial. Yes. We, the elders and council, have already decided that there is no way we are going to organize a befitting burial for a banished woman. But now you have made it clear to us that our banishment order lacked merit because we acted without consulting you. Can we now organize the befitting burial for this divine woman to solve the problem in our land? No, Oh, yeah. Nico. Fear! The problem has nothing to do with the befitting burial. For we are not even sure that anybody was divorced. Yes. The truth is that the pregnancy of our new queen was not celebrated. Yeah. And that is our problem. Pregnancy. Okay, man. Odin. 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 The chief priest confirms to us that we are having all these problems because we did not celebrate the pregnancy of the new queen. Uh, yes. Please tell us, the elders in council here, how many months pregnant you are to enable us to know the kind of celebration we shall organize. Boy, bye. Very simple. My elders, I am lost here. Are you sure you don't have any problem with your husband? I am not pregnant. Uh -uh. <laughs> 
in Ketis or another level. Uh, please, Your Majesty, I want you to understand that we mean well. Yes. yes. Your husband is our king. And until that day he collapsed, he was doing remarkably well as a king. Yes. That he is lying there helpless on that sick bed. It's not good for us at all. Yes. It is not good for us. That is why we came here asking you for this confirmation. Please, give us this confirmation and we are going to organize this celebration immediately. To see him rise, because the celebration will see him rise from that sick bed. And I, I let us make it for that clear to do that. We are prepared to organize the celebration even today. Yes. Um, please, please, my elders. I understand what you all are trying to say. But the truth is that I am not pregnant. Hey! I know you are trying your best to see my husband rise up. And I most sincerely appreciate that. I I think you should make the chief priest look into this again. I I don't know if I'm permitted to say this here. Yeah, but you're yeah, 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 permitted. Say it, please. As I'm standing here with you all, I am on my monthly cycle. Hey! 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 As at the time we confronted her, her monthly circle was on. Mm -hmm. What it means is that she is not pregnant. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yes. I know. Amaka, whom you married at night, is not pregnant. And can never be pregnant until you marry her properly. Yeah. Someone should send words to Uboe Fezugo. Tell him I'm disappointed in him. Obuefi, why are you deviating from the issue under discussion? I am not deviating. I am not deviating each year. In Ambadan, marriage prayers are said during the day and not in the night. But well, you politicians have decided to politicize everything, including playing politics with the sacred sanctity of our tradition. That girl's marriage prayers were said at night, and that marriage was nullified by the gods. Ugwefi, <laughs> <laughs> please, you are, you are confusing us. Are you saying that the same marriage we contracted at night to solve our problem has now become a problem for us? <laughs> 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 The woman that the late king blessed for his son who is now a king. The same woman you banished. The same one you are planning to give a befitting burial is not dead. Hey! Oh, no, yeah. Second. She is alive. Yeah. She left her body on the land with young pregnancy. And now she has delivered a son. A crown prince. Here, apparent to the throne in a strange land. Mm. <laughs> and the arrival of that son ought to be greeted with a gun salute and a great equal of sound. But these things were not done, and that is why calamity has befallen us. <laughs> Please, we feel the nebona. What should we do? She murdered our king, remember? She cannot enter this land. When you will you wear? Hey! When I say here, Guru Bwana. When I say here, Guru Bwana. If you know Guru Bwana, no nezana. When I say here, Guru Bwana. If you know Guru Bwana, no nezana. When I say here, Guru Bwana. When I say here, Guru Bwana. Say go, na ya wada go. Say go, say go, na ya wada go. If you no go, go imano dana. I go na ya wada. If you no go, go imano dana. I go na ya wada na say go. No ya zehi ya go go na. The star will rise in the sky tomorrow. That star will guide you to where she is breastfeeding her child. 
decide amongst you. Three of you will follow the star with gifts. Gifts to be offered to the woman. And the born king must return to the palace immediately to experience the God's salute and the great sound of Ikolo. Of course, he cannot return alone. He has to return with his mother because she is still breastfeeding her child. And uh, so what happened to the king? <laughs> After the gun salute and the sound of the ancient Ikolo, the truth will be revealed. <laughs> What kind of stupid wife are you to my son? Did you say stupid? Where did I go wrong, Your Majesty? How long did you expect to stay with him before you get pregnant? Huh? Eh? Sincerely, I I don't, I don't know where this is coming from. Uh, just keep that pretense, because you can't get me with that. You know my husband once called you a strange woman. I think I'm beginning to see what he meant by that. Your Majesty, I am losing it. I mean, why are you calling me names? Why am I calling you names? Look at your husband. Lying down here helpless. And the elders said that they are going to do something. And up till now, they've not been able to do anything. And you've lived with him long enough to get pregnant. You are just a useless woman. Very stupid. Why, where did I go wrong? I have done everything as a good wife. What, what did I do? Where did I go wrong? What? Is this the kind of mother-in-law I got myself involved with? Did you see the Queen Mother on your way here? I saw her. She's with the elders downstairs. I have news for you. I have good news and I have bad news. And what is this bad news? Your marriage has been declared a nullity by the chief priest. That means that you are not married. Uh, what kind of wordless talk is that? It's not a wordless talk. If I were you, I would get my people to go to the chief priest and make a broader inquiry. Your marriage took place in the night. That's why you've not conceived yet. Had the baby took place in the daytime, you would have been a mother by now. And, and what is this good news? What kind of a woman are you? You still have appetite for another? After all I said to you? Just confirm to me that you're indeed a strange woman. Collins? What did you just say? Nothing. Forget it. Your Majesty, all those things we did in order to beat the deadline, we are run as political moves made by kingdom politicians. By the chief priest. As it is now, that poor girl will never conceive unless we go back and marry her during the day. I hate this way feel the neighbor owner so much. I went to him to make inquiries, but he refused to speak. So why is he talking now? Your Majesty, I will advise you to be very, very mindful of the kind of things you say about the way you the neighbor owner. The sheep priest of Abadan, or Kalamad or Kalamo. Because whatever you say can backfire. Uh, as if I care. I hate that man. So much. Collins already briefed me that my marriage to the prince has been declared a nullity. They say I can't conceive a such people could come back and marry me during the day. But you don't have to leave, my dear. I'm so sorry about what you heard. But now that the problem has been revealed, I promise you, my dear, we are going to solve it. You don't just have to leave. I'm sorry. 
but I've made up my mind already. I arrived here at night, and I'm leaving this night. I'm sorry. This is very magical. What are we going to call this? <sighs> I believe this process has a link with the gods. And even the ancestors. We must continue to follow the star till we get to our destination. The journey to salvage our land starts now. This very moment. Uja. Amaka, our daughter, came back to the family last night, saying that her marriage has been nullified. And I made inquiries from some of the elders that we were with in the meeting, and they've confirmed what we said. And were you told, I said, I am disappointed in you? Yes, Itie Uzu said so, and I was wondering why. Mm -hmm. When your mother was married, was it under the sun or under the moon? I wasn't briefed, but I believe it's under the sun. I see. Ever since we have been given our women in marriage, has it been a record that a woman has been blessed for marriage? Under the moon? Oh, we feel the neighbor now. I need to make a clarification here. I was not the person that initiated the move. In fact, it was um, Ichie also that initiated the move. He said that without the prince being married, he will not be crowned king. And you believe the politician without consulting the chief priest is something that borders on succession to the throne. The quantity. Oh, where does you go? I am disappointed in you. Ogwefi, please, I came to see the way forward. If we now bless this marriage during the day, will she be able to conceive for her husband? Well, three elders of this land are already following the star of the king, and they will return with the born king to the palace. Then, after the revelation that will follow the gun salute and the special echo sound, the king, who is now lying sick at the mercy of our ancestors, will be the very one to decide whether he needs a new wife. Please, I need your help. How do we help you? Um, I'm looking for someone that lives around here. He's a native doctor. Yeah. Here in Aguku, we have a lot of native doctors. Exactly. Do you know the name of this particular person you're looking for? Um, his name is Obalo. 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 Yeah. You got someone? Yeah. We just saw his widow down the road. Just drive down, you see his house. Hey, Kaku. Who will search the woman be doing with that like kind of uh, obalo? Because much poor. See, let me tell you, the beautiful women are now the ones patronizing native doctors. This double name malo, okay, malo. Hmm, go on, go. Biko biya.
He was shouting as he was dying. From what we gathered, something he gave someone to kill a woman was mistakenly placed and it killed a man instead. He paid the penalty for that mistake. He died with a man that was killed by mistake. When was that? 17 November. The 17th day of November is indeed the saddest day of my life. I lost my father. Now my wife who should console me has been banished. Where did I go wrong? Same date. What is going on? What do you mean by the same date? Do you know anything about the untimely death of my husband? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know your husband. And we never met. I'm just, um, I'm feeling your pain. And I know that you've been consoled already. My condolence, my dear. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Judging from what happened already, I will advise you to forget about the palace. We made a mistake to have married you to that man. Try and forget them and reinvent yourself. Your own man is coming very soon. Um, I'm sorry, Uncle, but I'll have to cut you short. I am not bothered about what happened. Neither am I paying you anyway. I take the whole blame. I will invent myself as you have advised. Thank you for your concern. I'm really grateful. Thank you. I am here to see my friend, Nkoleka, the wife of Ilo Akasia of a new village. Is this not her house? And she is the same person I'm talking about. She died last year after her husband married me, and she said that she died of bottle that termination. And she should not even be buried in this village. She died of bottle what? Abomination. What is the meaning of that? Hey, Jam and Jukano, personally, I don't know the meaning. Not the queen of Abadan. No, no. No, no. Why are you disguising yourself? No, no. No. Are you sure of what is it that she's the queen? What was she discussing with you? What did she come here to do? I was there when she came looking for my new Jamai on the twelfth. And I told her what happened. That is all. What is it? What is the meaning of this? What could she be doing in our house?
is the meaning of this? We should have come with a car. Do you know we are already in Amanuke? And still, we don't know where the Bon King is. Seriously, I, I, I am beginning not to see the wisdom in this. We say we are the wise men that are traveling for Abaran Abaran. And we are not seeing the wisdom. This journey now we are embarking on. Finally, we may see ourselves if we do torture. Or even Kogi. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that has not taken away the wisdom in us. Uh, we don't need a car for all this important journey. If we had come in a car, how would we have followed the star judiciously? Not to talk of crossing the uh, Njaba River that we already crossed. Uh, Edas, let us behave ourselves, please, before we begin to digress. Did you just see what happened? Huh? You see, the star just collapsed on that house. That could be where they are. Uh, okay, follow me. Let's figure it out. It's becoming interesting. <laughs> yes. On a on This is the place. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Who are you to do this? I knew before you with this gift of the few. Your son is our coming king that we must welcome with gone salute. I kneel before you with this gift of Otanjel Ndibwe, an ancient gift of Abada and the people that opens the eyes of their friends and mighty women of valor. For you to nurse our coming king in a strange land means you are qualified for this gift. Please accept it from my hand. Don't say no. I kneel before you with the gift of Akupe Ka Akupe. The gift of Abada and the people to their mighty women of valor. To ward off evil people and spirits. Your son is our coming king that we must welcome in Abadan with sound of ancient equal. Three of us here are plead with you to get ready. You are coming with us to Abadan for you must continue to breastfeed our coming king. The woman that murdered the king must proceed on banishment and never to be seen anywhere around Abadani as we lower the king in the next three days. And then 
they find the way forward for our kingdom. Was he able to eat anything? He refused to eat him honest. But he managed to speak today. What did he say? He said I should go and get him his wife. And what did you tell him? I told him the wife left the palace in the night. And after that, he went back and has not said anything since then. Hello. Amaka. I just came into the palace and they said your husband got up and asked after you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I don't know what that means. I don't have a husband. I am still waiting for my husband. Are you out of your mind? You're talking to the Queen. I know it's you, Your Majesty. But we have to tell ourselves the truth. I mean, my uncle went to the chief priest and he confirmed that my marriage to the prince was a nullity, for it happened at night. That means I was never married. I'm sorry, but if your son is looking for his wife, then you have to go find her. I am not the one. Oh, come on, Amaka. After all I promised you, come off this pretense. He is your husband. You are his wife. Come to the palace immediately, please. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I am not the one. I wish to end this call now. Hello? If she's not his wife, who is his wife? Huh? Your Majesty, maybe he meant his wife. I mean the original wife. Collins. Your Majesty, you are very sick. I'm sorry, Mother, but what you are asking me to do is impossible. I have already obeyed you by going out to collect their debts. But that is as far as it goes. That's all I can do. No, my dear. You must do more. You must forget the past. You must forgive them for banishing you. Seeing they have realized their error and came back to apologize, you must go back with them to Abadan. Sincerely, God will be mad at you if you refuse to forgive these people. Do you know what they did? They set me up. I was never involved with the politics of Agbadan. I was only but a poor orphan with no hope. And then mysteriously God remembered me and made me the crown princess. Wife to the heir to the throne. I served the king. And he loved me so much. He said I was the best thing that ever happened to that palace. And then one day they conspired and killed him and turned around to say it was I that murdered him. How in the world can I ever trust them? I believe everything you told me. But I want you to know something that God is still God. Remember all the things I taught you since you came into my life 18 months ago. The ways of the Lord the way of the cross, the way of forgiveness. I volunteer to take you back with them. Gabata, you can live right now if you are ready. Yes, I hail you, my ancestors. 
Finally. Okay. Where are you going? Yeah. Where is it? What I'm hearing now is the sound of ancient Iko of Awadane. My father told me about that Iko. It may not sound right, but it's the most powerful music in this Awadane land. From everybody's hearing the sound now as I'm talking to you. Uh, are you serious? Uh, I'm not serious. No. Where is the Ikoro? I'm up the Ikoro. Ikoro is where it is now. See, see, see. Do you know that? That Ikoro now, eh? Mm. If you approach the Ikoro, you will discover that no one is playing it. See? Yeah? It's our ancestors who are playing the Ikoro. Our ancestors are the ones playing the Ikoro. <gasps> and when we hear the sound, all men of good will will move to the palace. And that is where I'm going to now. Are you coming with me? No, no. You said all men of good will. Uh -uh. All men of bad will. You didn't hear me. Okay. Are you a man of good will? You, you, you want to leave what you are doing? You want to go, go to, the, uh, to the palace? Yeah? All men of good My friend. Are you coming with me a dossier or not? All men of good will. Are you staying now? You're going to kill you. All men of good will. Ah, ah, ah. Am I a man of bad will? I'm a man of good will. Ta. Am I a man of bad will? There are no easy ones to have to have to have to Come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. Yes. The gold salute is finally here. The gold salute will finally reveal the truth. My ancestors are the truth. Everybody got a balaise. Everybody got a balaise. Everybody got a balaise. it was the sound of the ancient echo and now the cannon what is going on
Robinson. Oh, come oh, come oh, come oh, come Ajewu <laughs> No, 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 and what is the gun for? Who approved of the sound of the ancient Ikolo? What is she doing now, my son? Who is the owner of that child you are carrying? All the people connected to your evil have been killed by the gods. They left you alive because you deserve more than just death. The gods of Abadani are not there. She owe you nothing. She has forgotten all the wickedness you showed on her. She's going to bless you. That is what I don't ever want to hear. Eh? She is caused from that. She cannot bless me. She can bless you. And she's going to bless you. I want her to die. She can never be a blessing to me. I came with some money. Tell me what to pay and consider it paid. I can pay as much as 20,000 Naira. Teta. Take this. Drop the content in what she's going to eat. Okay. If she eats it in less than 30 minutes, she's going to die. Because it's going to damage her liver, kidney, and heart. When it works for you, come back and pay me. Take. Thank you very much. Also, you see, my dear, I sent everyone out of this house so that we can talk confidentially. But you know that my husband or my son my working on a nurse. So go straight to the point. My way. If you are not a worry, you may have some difficulties. Read what I am going to tell you. Say it first. You never can tell what I will do. My queen, this bottle will do the magic. Drop it into what you will eat and watch what will happen.
Deny that you are not the one that poisoned the Achilles, that finally killed the king. Oh. I know nothing of what you're talking about. I am the queen of this land, and you cannot cajole me into something I know nothing about. I forbid you to move an inch. For a fowl that swallows a needle will never live to boast of it. When the elders wrongly banished this innocent maiden, they denied her her request to pick the pendant which she inherited from her mother, the greatest of all the possessions in her life. I hereby banish you justly, for you are evil. You are an evil woman. You are an evil woman in all ramifications. From where you are standing, proceed on banishment to an unknown land. Never to return to Abaddon till death. You are justly banished for your evil. Now leave the palace. Move! 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 Yeah. 